Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Happy Thursday to you. Rusty Champagne here, and here we are. I have been waiting for this. Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave. I have definitely been waiting for this one. Hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. It is an awesome one, I am telling you. Let's see, who all do we already have in chat here? We got Michelle, we got Eric Buskin, we got Allison Rowe, we got Andrew G, we got at Brookland, all in the chat. We got Court MK Ang in the chat as well. Hi, how y'all doing? Good to see all of you. I do hope that uh, the, the, uh, the cloud bot is working. I would hope it is. Maybe it's just being a little bit slow. Uh, Techno Frank DK, how you doing? So good to see you. Um, but yeah, we'll see whether or not the cloud bot is working. I did not make any changes to it that would have broken it that I'm aware of. So it should be all up and running. Let me take a quick look here. Whoops, that's not what we want. Let's swing over to this screen with that. Uh, it is on. So, <laughs> and the commands are on. So, yeah. Hopefully it will be working. Um, hmm. Hopefully it'll be fine. Maybe it's just being a little bit slow because I did not do anything to, to change it other than add that one command. So hopefully everything will be fine with it. Django 98, hello. There it is. There we go. Now it seems like it's working. Um, that one is. So the other one should be working, I would hope. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Lollipop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello, how you doing? Good to see you. Heather Rosso, hi, how you doing? It's good to see you. Can't wait for you to play this game. You're going to have so much fun. Oh, I really hope so. Like I said, I have been looking forward to this one. I think this one's going to be a good time. Let's see whether or not these other commands are going to work. Catnip, how you doing? So good to see you. So good you're here. So glad you're here. There it is. They're all working now. Streamlabs are just taking a minute to think about things. So <laughs> it's all good. Streamlabs has woken up and is ready to give all of the exclamation point commands for the wonderful Yoda. And that is good. So there we go. Shall we hop into this? Yeah, I just needed a shot of coffee. That's all it was. Shall we hop into this bad boy? I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Tidal wave. Up close and personal. Let's see what we got. So that apparently that's me. And I can tell because I've yeah, it's got the dog bobblehead that was on the on our car dashboard. So we're just going to kind of cruise in here. This is about all I've seen. This is it. So that kind of looks like me a little bit. Just a smidge. Welcome to the Tidal Wave. You will have the opportunity to develop a new business on a paradise island. The island is ruled by a mysterious god named Chunchu Manchu in the physical form of a volcano. Being on the island, you are subject to his anger, so try to live in harmony with him so as to not cause unnecessary escalation. Terrain conditions and ubiquitous water open up possibilities for an entire new, entirely new vehicles and activities. Be attentive to discover them all during the game. Have fun and watch out for the dangers of the new world. Aloha. Caitlin Badger, how you doing? Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> he definitely has a, a Jack Sparrow vibe to him, I would say. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Find the generator and turn on the power. Um, so we got this thing up in the corner there. It says Chuch Chunchu Manchu Rage. So we want to make sure that we don't get him too angry, I guess is what it is. So we got an area here where we can refuel boats. Okay. Um, it's mighty dark. That's all I know. It is 7.20 p.m. and it is very, very dark. So let's run this away. And let's see if we can find this power generator. It should be where the giant question mark is because that's generally how these things go. And I see this little red light, and now we have the switch that is kind of <laughs> flashing at us. Hey, look at that. We got power. I've done one thing right. We, we've started out okay. Uh, there we go. We've got tiki torches that operate by power, but the volcano seems like it is not very happy that that happened. 
So we will keep our eye on it, and we will say, take a gift for Chun Chu Manchu. All right, so we got to run this way, and I guess we will grab a gift. Let's see what we have as a gift to give to the giant volcano. What's it going to be? So let's run back this way. What do we have for gifts for the mighty volcano? Um, I do not know, but it's all the way over here. So what do we got? What is in here? Uh, oh, a Dust Bowl. Um, so, so, so we got a Dust Bowl plaque, it looks like, just to pay reverence and show reverence for our old, our old digs, I'm guessing. So I guess that's how we make it happy is we tell them that we don't have the Dust Bowl anymore. So as a result, we're going to, uh, we're going to like exercise that demon. So let's see. The altar is a place where you can make a sacrifice to the powerful Chunchu Manchu. By interacting with the cauldron located at the very top of the altar, you can offer Chunchu Manchu gifts that will reduce his anger. The coconut dispenser in front of the altar can also be used to calm Chunchu Manchu. Throwing coconuts, coconuts into the cauldron from one of the three fields will reduce the god's anger. Okay, so I've got to remember that we are that we're going to have coconuts that we can throw in here. And that will also calm him down. So that's good. All right. So I guess I can. Uh, what's going to be the easiest way to walk up here? Do we? Can we go around this way? Can we go up here? Do I? Uh, can I throw that in there? Or do I have to like walk up there? Uh, let's try not to get ourselves stuck right out of the gate. All right. Let's just try walking. Okay. We can just walk across and we won't fall into the lava. So that's good. All right going to throw in the sacrificial gift um sacrifice our old dust bowl and the dust bowl is gone all right so we're going to clean the gas station on our pc we can find useful tools that will allow you to get the job done and we are a faithful servant of chun chu manchu so he is much happier now he's down to 25 rage that is much better than 75 so that is good let's close that up the okay so it's going to tell us more about chun chu manchu and uh, manifesting his volcano. The icon at the top of the screen shows the god's current anger. The anger grows spontaneously. <laughs> I hate it when it grows spontaneously. It can be increased or decreased depending on your actions. If the anger indicator fills up, the volcano will erupt, causing a number of problems. Be careful or your paradise island might turn into hell on earth. We don't want that. That's for sure. Andrew G, how you doing? So good to see you. When cleaning the gas station, throw the fish back into the sea. Okay. We will do that then. No spoilers. Um, <laughs> we will go and get the fish. So we're going to take them and throw them back into the sea. And then we will take the other stuff and we will see what it is. So let's go over here. Oh, so there's our dumpster. Um, so this is all the garbage, I guess, or is it in the station itself? So let's see. Um, we're going to clean the gas station. So we'll just take this, throw this into the dumpster. <laughs> there we go. And we'll get all this in. Oh, there's a fish. All right, let's take the fish, throw it into the sea. Uh, let's find the quickest way to get the fish into the sea. There we go. Big hurl. And the fish is happily in the sea. So we see what else we got. Oh, yeah, I should have the. Um, all right. So we just got that as our backpack right now. So I'm assuming that at some point we should get our other things like our our garbage bag and our our broom and all that stuff. We should be able to get all that at some point. Um, I'm just going to keep on taking this stuff and throw it in here and we'll go from there. So just get rid of all these barrels and whatnots. Get those out of the way. And we're gonna grab these and throw them out of our way, because we gotta make the gotta make the place look good <laughs> before we get to open it up. It is very picturesque here, though. I will give it that. That is kind of nice. All right, so now we're actually in the gas station. So I think I can go here. Yeah, here we go. So we should be able to go here to tools. There we go. Uh, we're gonna buy our broom. Gonna buy our trash bag right out of the gate. That was what I was looking for was those things that we can then use to make our life a little bit easier as we do this. But we will take the fish and throw them into the sea because that is where they should be. We don't want to put the fish in a trash bag. Are you going to go in there? Oh, you came up short. I've got a weak arm. All right, a little bit further. There you go. You're in there. All right, let's get the rest of these fish. 
I want to know how all the fish ended up in the gas station. I mean, how did they get here? Are there just really, 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 really high tides? Is that what it is? I do not know, but it doesn't seem like the fish should be this far into the gas station. And how many are there? Oh, it's good that I can throw them through this window, so that's nice. Uh, all right, we, we've got a ton of fish in here, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to get all these thrown out, though, uh, just to get that started, because they all look like they could really use a little bit of water. So let's throw all those in. And just a couple more, and we'll be all set. There we go. All the fish have been rescued. Pixie Gold, how you doing? So nice to see you. Welcome to Rusty Champagne. Welcome to our new release debut of Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave. It is very exciting times. It really, really is. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so now we need to build a warehouse. Okay, so we're going to go from here to the Upgrades tab on the PC. And we're going to, whoops, I should have just stayed where I was. The upgrade for the warehouse. And we're going to get that. That's going to give us some inventory, going to give us some fuel. And that's very happy music. Very nice. Chunchu Manchu is happy. We managed to calm the volcano. That's nice. Apparently, all it took was building a warehouse, and that makes the volcano happy. I would not have guessed such a thing, but there you go. We're going to order some fuel, just like we always did. So we're going to go here. Oh, man, I really hope we have Scary Gas Man. Please tell me we still have Scary Gas Man. I would love it if we really still had Scary Gas Man. Please tell me that they brought him over from the Dust Bowl. Please tell me. We've got to have Scary Gas Man. I mean, life, life will not be the same without Scary Gas Man. Uh, let's see. What all can we throw into our garbage bag? Um, or does this all have to get emptied? Uh, oh, man, that's a shame got to actually like actually take all this and pick it up and throw it into the dumpster what a bummer i was hoping that that would actually fit into our um actually fit into our trash bag but alas that is not the case so we're going to take these pick them up throw them out in the dumpster at least it seems like we only have the one dumpster this time i might have actually missed that shot so we'll <laughs> have to come back and take a look oh clean the warehouse uh so i'm doing the wrong thing of course I'm doing the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Lori the Dancing Stitcher, how you doing? So good to see you. I'm glad you were able to make it to our opening stream, our live stream of Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave. And we got more fish here, all the fish. So we're going to throw all these in again. I don't know how these fish got up here. That's very, very weird that they all somehow got up here. But we're going to just throw them back into the sea, make them happy. Uh, get them there, and that will hopefully keep Chunchu Manchu happy. Yes, it does. It looks like it makes it happy when we throw the fish into the sea. Because I see that his rage goes down one every time. There we go. So that's good. So that's a reminder. Don't take the fish and throw them into a garbage can. Because that would not be good. That would make the volcano very upset. All right. So how many more do we have to get? we got to get four more. So there's another one. Throw that there. Uh, Gothic Gamer Grimoire. Hey, how you doing? You're not that late. Everything's good. We just got started. We just built the warehouse. I am doing wonderful. It is a wonderful Thursday. But yeah, we just got the, got the warehouse built. Uh, we found the power generator, got the power turned on. We're waiting for Scary Gas Man to show up. I really hope it's Scary Gas Man. Please tell me it's Scary Gas Man. Uh, that would make my life complete if this was Scary Gas Man. Um, please tell me that it's him. Or do we? will we find out? Let us see. So we're going to hop down here. Does anyone actually? Oh, no one actually hops out. That's a bummer. All right. We'll just turn that on. I really wanted to see Scary Gas Man. And I'm apparently going to be disappointed. Or is that you? I can't tell by looking at you. I really can't. I'm going to pretend it's you. Oh, I, I that might be you. It looks like you had the same outfit on. I'm going to go with it and say that it's you. Because <laughs> I really love Scary Gas Man. There's a fish right here on the desk. Um, he was apparently trying to order some products. And fish cannot do that because they are fish. So they do not have that capability. All right, we're going to open the gas station. I think we're good. We've cleaned up the warehouse. We have cleaned up the gas station itself. We got all the new mail. Uh, I think we're ready to get this done. Holly Homie, how you doing? 
Good to see you. Oh, thank you very much. I do hope that we have a lot of fun with this. I think it's going to really be a fun time. Uh, I hope you guys are excited about it as I am, because I am definitely very excited about it. Are we ready? There's the sign. You know what time it is. The gas station is open for your convenience. Okay, we got a boat that's getting ready to arrive, so we can wait until that customer arrives and refuel his boat. When the boat arrives, pick up the gas pump and interact with the highlighted fuel filler. That sounds pretty simple. While we're doing that, we might as well go in here and we might as well check out our um, mail. Welcome to the tidal wave. Uh, yeah, so that's just all about the volcano. That's the altar. That's the volcano again. That's delivery. So deliveries now arrive on water. The rules do not change much and you don't need to care about the gate. The warehouse is always open. You just need to pick up delivery boxes once the boat arrives and place them on the warehouse shelves. That's it. That's great. So we don't have to worry anymore about people stealing stuff from our uh, from the uh, warehouse. I mean, I always close the door anyway, but that's good that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's do this. I'm not going to click that right now. We are going to go here, and we are going to take care of this boat. It's our very first boat. Here we go. Our very first refueling job. How you doing? So good to see you. And it goes right about there. There we go. And let's see how we do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and even here, they say the same stuff. Pretty much what I asked for. How about that? All right. So we can buy a parking lot now. So let's go back. Let's get ourselves a parking lot. The sun is coming up. It is a beautiful day here at the Tidal Wave gas station. Uh, I guess we don't even have to worry about cleaning up any sand or anything to get the parking lot going. So let's just do this. So we're going to go here to features and to other, and we're going to get our first parking lot space. Boom. No cost for a free parking lot. I do like free. Free is quite good. There we go. So we got that now. We can exit out of here. And let's see, complete the challenge to unlock new gas station features. So we have to serve five customers and we have to fuel five boats. You think? I think even I can handle that. <laughs> I think I can make that one happen without too much trouble. I wonder, do we have the ability yet to have someone come in and take all, all the stuff that I've thrown in there? Let's see, uh, delivery, uh, no. Uh, services, garbage collection. There we go. Let's get that taken care of. So that way we are going to be able to throw a bunch more stuff into our dumpster. We should have someone at the boat fueling dock. So let's do that. Get you filled up. How are you doing, sir? You're in your wetsuit that looks like it's all torn to shreds. Um, of course, this is going to be a little bit challenging. Uh, there we go. Because <laughs> these boats go up and down as boats would do on the water. So that's good. Um, it's going to make life a little bit more difficult when it comes to actually hitting the nozzle. But we'll, we will make do. We will make it happen. So, all right. We got our first boat fueled. Now we're just waiting for some people to show up here. Oh, that's the, um, that's the person that's here to empty out our dumpster. That's good. And there we go. Here's our first peeps. Let's see what the peeps look like here. Uh, how are you doing, sir? I'm just going to walk with you to see what you look like. You look pretty good, um, and you clipped right through me. How are you doing, ma'am? We're going to see how you look. Uh, you look pretty good as well. I'm liking the outfit. And how about you? Uh, oh, you're heading out of here already. There we go. Uh, and how are you doing, sir? So good to see you. Thank you for emptying out all of our garbage. We definitely appreciate that. Um, is there anyone? Oh, I don't. Do I have anything for you to even buy? Uh, no, I don't. So I guess I need to get something in here for you to buy. Uh, because otherwise you're not going <laughs> to, there won't be anything for me to serve you. So let's see. Let's go. Okay, we've got someone at the boat fueling. So we're going to get rid of a couple more things of garbage. And then we're going to head down to the boat fueling. We're going to get that boat fueled up. And then we're going to get a couple of shelves in here. Because right now we have no shelves. I'm surprised that they didn't tell us that we should get some shelves. Um, but they must have figured that we would have done that. You were worried you were going to be stranded even here on the water. <laughs> Some things never change. 
Uh, feels like watching a zombie movie. Yeah, some of these people do have a little bit of an eerie look to them. Just a little bit. Uh, but not too bad. Okay, let's see. I should probably get a couple of shelves in here. So let's do that. We're going to go to features, shelves, get some soft drinks. Uh, I'm going to get a big soft drink stand and a snack stand. We'll get a big food stand because why not? There we go. Uh, we're going to get both of those. Exit out of here. I believe those live in my backpack. Yes, they do. So we got shelves. So we got a big food stand that we're going to set up. Uh, right over here. So we're going to do this. Q and E to rotate. It's very slow rotating. Uh, press R to activate snapping. Okay, that's good. There we go. So uh, can I move myself back a bit? There. Oh, that's perfect. I'm so glad that that snaps. Um, oh, oh, that's even better. Okay, and we're going to set that right there. And then I'm going to get a couple of these out of the way. And then we will... Um, put up the other one as well so we'll have both of our things up and running both of our shelves and then we just got to get the product to put in there and we'll be in good shape back down to the boat dock we go to get this boat filled up and then i'm going to have to order some more gas there we go cool good to see you all right let's get some more gas because we are running out of gas in a hurry here so let's take care of that, and I'm going to see if I can get this thing filled all the way up. So let's see. We're going to go up here, delivery, fuel supply, just fill that all the way up. That works. So we'll be in good shape there. Uh, back into, I want to get want to get these barrels out of here. And then once we have these barrels out of here, then I can get the shelf set up. So let's get that in there. There we go. And then I think we're good. Yeah, because there are all these people coming in here that want to get some stuff, and I have nothing to give them. So let's put this shelf up, uh, our big soft drink stand, and we're going to hit R to snap that. That's perfect. I do love some good snapping. And we're going to just put that right there in that corner. Perfect. There we go. So now we just need some food and some drinks, and I think we'll be in good shape. So let's see. Trent in Paradise, how you doing? Good to see you, Catherine. Hey, how you doing? You're not that late. Everything's good. I'm on time to watch Rusty play Gas Station Simulator. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Like I said, I absolutely love this game. It's really, really a lot of fun. So let's see. We want to do a delivery of products. So, yeah, so it's all boat delivery now, like they said before. So let's get a little bit of everything here. So we're going to get some of the cheap stuff. So, so oh, um, did I get two of you? I did. I didn't mean to do that. So let's go here. One. And uh, we're going to close that back up. And we'll get one of you. And we'll get one of you. Because I've got to make sure I don't order too much. Because I only have a 200. Uh, I only have room for 200 things in my inventory. So there we go. We'll get all that. No fee on the order. That's perfect. I could have probably gotten one more thing, and that would have been fine. Casso time. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I'll explain that in just a second for you. Martinique Hickman. How you doing? So good to see you. Diane Smith. Hello. Welcome to the welcome to the uh, to our our gas station simulator tidal wave. Uh, it is going to be a lot of fun. So how does this work? Well, if you know Gas Station Simulator, then it works pretty much the same as Gas Station Simulator does. It's very, very similar to that. Um, but now uh, the fueling is going to happen here. So where we, we get the gas, um, Scary Gas Man shows up over here. And so we put in the fuel down here. And then boats show up. At least right now it's only boats. Um, so we have boats that show up, and then we go over to where the boats are, which is going to be over here, and we come over here, and we fill up the boats with gas. So we're going to come over here, we're going to fill up this boat with gas, so we're going to get close enough to do that. Going to get the fuel gauge right there in the target, and then they're going to say something nice to us. And then after that, we uh, can also take care of people that are up at the... Um, up at the gas station itself but right now the issue i have is that i don't have any food or drinks to serve them because that is also on its way over here to the warehouse so this other boat is on its way here to the warehouse for me to then take that uh take that product and put it onto the shelves which i believe are also down here 
Now, I think that this, I think that the coral can just be thrown in there. Let's see. Um, that seems fine. We also have uh, the, we have this uh, volcano that's on the island that we want to try and not make mad with what we do. So if you look up on the upper left, it kind of says uh, Chunchu Manchu Rage. And so that's like the rage level of the, of the, uh, of the volcano, which right now is only at seven. So the volcano seems pretty happy right now. And um, as long as we keep the volcano happy, then we're in good shape. So we just want to make sure we don't do anything to anger the volcano. And as long as the volcano's happy, then we're pretty good. If the volcano gets mad, then we occasionally have to do something to make it a little more calm. So we have to give it a sacrifice every once in a while. Um, just give it some kind of an offering. So that way it then becomes more peaceful and tranquil. Because if it gets too angry, then bad stuff can happen. So we're just basically trying to avoid having bad stuff happen from the volcano. And as long as we can do that, then we're in pretty good shape. And aside from that, yeah, we're just uh, we're going about uh, filling up boats with gas. Uh, taking care of customers that might show up at the register. Uh, we got to get the soft drinks out here. So we're going to put all these out. So now people have stuff to buy. And we are going to put all this out so people have stuff to buy. And then hopefully they will buy some product and we will be able to finish up this challenge. So that's that's kind of where we are with it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the volcano on top? Where are the money? Oh, yeah. So that's what the volcano is all about. Uh, Daryl B., how you doing? So good to see you. So glad you made it. Um, how to do it. Uh, I, I'm assuming that means how do you make the volcano happy? Um, there are coconut fields somewhere around here where you can um, basically throw a, a coconut into an altar. And then that will uh, reduce the rage of the volcano. I'll see if I can get over there in a bit once I have these people uh, served. And um, once we have that, then we can kind of run over to the altar and we can see what that's all about. You have a nice day as well. Okay, so I think there are a few coconut fields around here. So the altar is over here. Um, and there are coconut fields that are kind of around to the sides here, I believe. Um, and so I guess we can like pick up a coconut at some point. I don't know exactly where the coconuts are. But at some point, we can pick up a coconut, and then we can put it on the altar, and that will make the um, that will make the volcano happier. So we have to take it. Um, are you coconuts? Uh, we can't pick any of you up. But yeah, we would run up here to the top of the altar. We would throw something in here, and that would make the volcano happy. So that's kind of how we do everything with the um, with the altar and make sure that the volcano stays very nice and satisfied. Uh, we can also throw a fish into the sea to reduce rage as well, which we've been... So do fish just keep on showing up all the time? <laughs> do the fish just keep hopping up onto the uh, uh, into our into our plates? Because uh, that'd be kind of hilarious if they did. Because um, I wonder how they just kind of keep hopping up here, if that is the case, if they do do that. Um, but yeah, we have thrown a bunch of fish into the sea, which is good. And that does reduce the rage. So, okay. All right, thank you. Very good to see you. So now we just need to take care of three more customers and we'll be in good shape. It is a pretty fun DLC. I mean, if you've played Gas Station Simulator, I think you will really, really like this one. Like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun. The original Gas Station Simulator was really a fun time. This one seems like it's gonna be pretty much the same kind of thing. Um, it's gonna have the same entertainment value. And uh, I'm sure that there are going to be other new things that occur with it as well. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I've been looking forward to this one because I really love Gas Station Simulator. Um, so for me, this is just it's it's kind of an icing on the cake situation. All right. We're going to get more of this stuff cleaned up here. I think I can throw some stuff. Oh, there we go. There's another fish. And we're going to give this a nice hurl. So <laughs> into the sea you go and the raid should drop by one. And it did. Perfect. There we go. Now, grab my garbage bag. Going to pick some of this up. There we go. Got some trash here and here and here and here. And then I got to grab my broom because we got all kinds of sand in here. All right. So for you, we got a couple of products. Uh, there we go. And there's that. Uh, you owe me a little bit more than one. I think you owe me like $3.30, but that's okay. And our final one before we can get the first challenge completed. 
All right, perfect. We can buy a car fuel dispenser. So buying a fuel dispenser requires gas station level two purchase. So then I believe we can go here. So we got to go to upgrades and we got to go to gas station two and we need $100, which we have. So here we go. There's the gas station. We are now here with the gas station. Chuchu Chunchu Manchu is once again happy. We have a very happy volcano, and that is what we love. Uh, yeah, this does feel like it does expand the game, that's for sure. Uh, just because of, uh, I, I, like I said, I know that there are going to be other things that you can do in the game. Uh, because, yeah, like here, again, you can fuel boats, which is a, a cool addition. So you got different places where you can go. Um, so it is a, it's a similar concept, but they've definitely added some things to it, which is kind of cool. And it's, it's very scenic out here. So that's nice as well. So, all right, we're going to... Oh, man, that becomes a lot more difficult when these boats come up and down. Thank you very much for saying I did a good job. I appreciate that. All right, let's run back this way because uh, we got to buy the car fuel dispenser. So we're going to go here and features and other. And we are going to go here and get a car fuel dispenser for $250. There we go. So now we can fill up cars and boats. So we got all the different people that we can take care of. Because we got plenty of people that do drive here as well. <laughs> we got all the tourists that drive up here. All right, let's grab the broom. Um, we've got all the dirt in here. So I guess it's like nuclear sand <laughs> that we got in here now. So let's get the floor cleaned up, make it look nice and pretty here in our new gas station. So we're going to get that cleaned up, get that cleaned up. Man, there's a lot of sand in here. Oh, oh, and this already expanded. Wow, the walls already came out um, just after one move. So let's uh, pick this up, and we're going to hit R, and we're going to push that up against the wall, and we're going to get rid of this box. Um, did we lose all the snacks? Or did it put all the snacks back into, oh, put all the snacks back into inventory? Got it. Now I get it. Now I understand. I'm like, that'd be a bummer if we lost all the snacks. All right, so we got another challenge here. We got to fuel 10 boats, 10 cars, serve 10 customers. We have 10 scuba equipment rental. And then we have to have two toilet uses. Okay. So we'll do this. How are you doing? Good to see you. You look a lot like Scary Gas Man. You really, really do. You're a spitting image for Scary Gas Man. You really, really are. All right, let's get you fueled up. That is good. I am glad for that. So now we're going to have to learn something about the uh, scuba equipment rental. So we're going to see if we can figure that out. No spoilers. Um, oh, we can clean that off. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's get this person taken care of. And then we're going to see. We're going we're to hop into here. And we're going to go to upgrades, uh, scuba diving. Okay, allows rent allows to rent scuba diving equipment that's going to cost us $250. Let's get that. All right. So we have a scuba building now. And the volcano is once again happy. We love a happy volcano. We really, really do. We're going to need to put on our roller skates. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, we're going to be running like crazy. That is for sure. Uh, so let's see. Order scuba or surfing equipment using the PC and then add them to the sufficient box shelf with limited space to be available for customers. Interact with the chalkboard to check the active equipment and set its exchange threshold, and which will automatically be replaced with a new one. Customers pay for every second of equipment rental, but with every second, its quality also deteriorates. The more damage the equipment, the greater the risk of customers' death. So set the threshold wisely. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to delivery um, products. Is it there? Scuba diving. Um, so let's get some scuba equipment. Let's get uh, let's get maybe uh, five scuba equipment. We'll do that for now. Um, and, oh, I should probably get more. So that way we uh, don't have to pay the fee. There we go. No fee. So that works. So let's close that back up. Open that back up. Um, huh. That's weird. Okay. So we'll do that. So that's on its way to the gas station. 
And now we got one. Okay, we got some full trash. Let's get this trash taken care of. So let's grab that bag, grab that, put that away, throw this in the dump. And let's get everyone fueled up. So there you go. Yeah, I'm going to be running like crazy until I get some employees. That's for sure. Um, but that was what it was like in the original gas station simulator as well. You're running here. You're running there. You're all over the place. Um, it's never a dull moment. That's for sure. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. I'm going to get you fueled up once you get that up there. There we go. And I'll probably have to order some more gas pretty soon. So we will do that. Uh, 100 likes. Absolutely no reason we can't hit it. I love that as a goal. I am very happy with that as a goal. A smoking volcano isn't usually a happy sight. No, generally not. But right now the volcano is pretty happy, so we're, we're good with that. Our, gas, our station is a little bit dirty here. Oh, we have this person here that wants some stuff. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. Let's get you taken care of. Because we need you as part of our challenge. So there you go. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying your time here in the tranquil... Uh, in the tranquil visage of Chunchu Manchu out in the distance there. Okay, two new mail. So this is going to probably just tell us everything that we knew about. Oh, the shark. A dangerous shark has been prowling the area for years. The moment the shark is spotted by the Coast Guard, sirens will sound on the island. If you do not intervene, the shark will attack a few people in the water to satiate itself, which can make the Chunchu Manchu very angry. The only way to scare it away is to use the cannon. The shark must be hit in the fin protruding above the water surface or in its upper part closest to the surface. Shark health bar is visible at the top of the screen. Reducing his health bar to zero will cause him to leave. Okay. Um, so I guess we're going to have a cannon. Uh, maybe we have to order a cannon. I'm thinking maybe. Uh, we'll take a look at that momentarily. But for now, we're going to keep on getting everyone fueled up. I'm going to have to get some more gas. All right. So now we got someone at the warehouse gate. We will get that taken care of. And so we'll run over here. Yeah, there's a lot of running in this one. We're, we're all over the place. Uh, I'm going to grab that, set that there. Thank you very much. Let's hop up here. And we're going to run this away. We got the boat that we need to fill up. They are right over here. And how are you doing? Get you all fueled up. Yeah, get that taken care of. There we go. And now we got to get the equipment over at the scuba rental. So the easiest way to do that is going to be to run this way, I think. So we'll do that. We're going to run over here to the scuba rental. And let's see, because I've not done anything like this before. So let's see what this is going to be all about. Um, we got to take that equipment and put it uh, where? Where would that equipment go? Let's see. Is that going to be... Let's kind of keep wandering around. And we're going to see where it goes. Um, if I was going to put scuba rental equipment somewhere, where would it go? I think it said something about interacting with the chalkboard. Uh, equip. There we go. Is that it? Um, hmm. All right. That doesn't seem like it's doing anything. My lockers. Oh, set. So we're going to set the threshold. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it at, well, we'll leave it at 50%. Okay. So where are my lockers? Um, do I need lockers? Is that what I'm missing? Or do, is it because I don't have lockers? I'm betting that's my issue is that I don't have lockers. Let's see. Um, so we probably have to do that. So at Brooklyn, so good that you were able to make it. Uh, have a good night. Uh, th thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, I have a little beach on the river of my property to Zach out. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're going to head back. I, I'm sure that there's something that I missed. I know there's something that I missed. So we will figure it out. And we will make it happen. But I've got... Oh, we even have the police here. Is it this? Uh, it's the California Highway Patrol again. Officer 653 is even here. How about that? There you go. We'll run in here, take care of the person at the register. And then we will take a look at our PC and see what the PC says. Because I'm sure there's something on the PC that I just did not, that I did not see, and that I completely overlooked. So let's take a look there and see what we're missing. Because I'm sure there's just something I'm missing. Okay. 
Let's see. What am I missing here? So we're going to go here. Uh, let's see. Um, is it under features? Is it under shelves? No. Uh, let's see. Services. No, it's not there. Um, so scuba, that's open. Um, so if I look again, let's take a look at our mail. Nothing in the mail about the scuba. So I already did that. Um, let's go here again. I know that there's a boat that's waiting to be fueled, and that's okay. We will get that taken care of momentarily. Uh, let's go into upgrades. So let's move back here. And let's see, with scuba diving, so it allows us to rent scuba equipment, but I'm not seeing, go back to the chalkboard and look down. Okay. Um, all right. I Because I felt like I did something there, but apparently I did not do enough. So let's do that. Uh, one more time. Andrew G to the rescue. Uh, look at the chalkboard and look down. Oh, there we go. I am a maroon. Okay. Stored in box in warehouse seven. So let's uh, take four, add those, add them to the box shelf. Um, can I add one more? Is that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Fine. Awesome. So I guess that's okay. And we'll leave that there. So how many lockers? Uh, so I guess we just have the one locker. Is that how it goes? Um, we'll we'll just leave that for now. So we've apparently got four of them in there. And the threshold here is set at 50%. So that's all feeling good for now. So and we have to I maybe we have to renew the locker. Is that? Uh, we're gonna, okay. So we're gonna just kinda keep going with that and let that keep happening. This person at the boat dock has been waiting forever to get fueled, but I'm gonna go this way first because that's just how I am. So we're gonna take care of the car and then we'll take care of the boat. There we go. Oh, and I gotta order more gas. Um, so yeah, we gotta get more gas. So let's go here, delivery, fuel supply. Um, it's as fast and frantic as it is if I if I was at the supermarket called supermarket, it's good to see that some things never change. Uh, how you doing, ma'am? Good to see you. Stinger Beast, how you doing? You haven't missed too much. We're getting everything set up here. Um, we've set up the warehouse. We've set up some scuba equipment. Uh, Andrew G is uh, being my savior here and helping us out with figuring out things. Um, we're getting things cleaned up because we got sand to plenty coming into this place. Uh, so we're trying to make it look all nice and pretty. And uh, aside from that, no, you haven't, been, you haven't missed too much. We're just we're having a good old time here at the uh, at the tidal wave gas station. So right now I'm just waiting for the boat to arrive with the gas, and then once they do, we'll we'll go forward from there. Uh, so it looks like. All right, so we've had three scuba equipment rentals. I do need to get a toilet. So, oh, and our, our uh, trash is full. So let's take care of that. Oh, I miss having employees. Uh, <laughs> I really miss that. Okay, we're going to get this out of here. Um, okay, the bag is still with us. That's good. So throw that in there. And I need a toilet. So let's get a toilet as well. So let's do that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's in here. Features, other, and if I go here, um, party boat pier. Uh, so we got to buy a toilet now? Um, is it, uh, huh. I'll, or is that under, uh, is it under upgrades? Is it an upgrade? Uh, oh, it's an upgrade now. Okay, uh, toilet. There we go. There's a nice Nice. That's great. I love that. The volcano is once again happy. That is good. It is good to have a happy volcano. Uh, Alejandro Tarosio, how you doing? I am doing wonderful. I'm having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a wonderful day, too. It is going great. We got 100 people here that are watching this. A girl at drinking a game. Ooh, fancy. How you doing? So good to see you. It is really fancy. There's no doubt about it. We are in all the fancy land. Okay. Let's take care of this person. Get that all cleaned up. And we got the delivery at the warehouse gate. Uh, that is our fuel. And then we can take care of the person at the boat who has been waiting there for eons. 
Um, and then he'll come back and take care of the police. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, because this poor guy, he's been there for like a day and a half. <laughs> so I do feel bad for him. Uh, but we will get this all squared away. All right, there you go. Fuel is pumping. Up we go. Going to run this away. Take care of the boat. Take care of the officer. Uh, probably run over by the scuba area. Make sure everything looks okay over there. So sorry that took us so long to get here. Um, but we are here now. There you go. And you still seem happy about everything. So that's the most important part. All right. So we got the cop that's out here. We'll get them taken care of. How you doing, sir? So good to see you. Get that filled up. There we go. Now let's run over to the scuba area. I'm doing good. I'm excited because I'm going to sing karaoke today. Wow, that ought to be fun. Awesome. Okay, so now let's see. That should, if I look at that, that should eventually uh, switch itself out. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. So I'm assuming that they're still using it. And then after they're done using it, they'll come back and we'll switch out for a new one. So I'm going to just keep an eye on it here. And we're going to just kind of like take a look at this sign. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So I guess now we renew that. Or maybe we don't have to do that. So we got Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Everything is good. That appears to be running fine. And I will trust that that is going to continue to run fine. <laughs> so we shall see. All right, uh, we got one at the register. Let's get them taken care of. How you doing today? Get you all taken care of. You too, bye-bye. <laughs> Even here we have that. That is great. Uh, you are here at the fuel. We will get you taken care of. How you doing today? Uh, thank you. And we got one at the boat fuel. So let's get the boat filled up as well. The boat is definitely more challenging just because of the uh, the fact that their fuel nozzle goes like up and down. So you got to really, you got to be a little bit patient sometimes. Yes, yeah, so then it comes up and there, there you go. Now we can fill it up. There we go. Thank you. All right, so we do have some mail. Let's see what the mail is all about. I'm sure it's something that we already know about, but we might as well check it out anyway. So let's see. Uh, what's in the mail? Oh, that, oh, that's just the shark, um, and deliveries. Okay, so that's everything we already knew. So, there we go. Uh, Another One Bites the Dust. That's a good song. That is a really good song, for sure. Um, I like that one. Okay, so all the scuba equipment has been ratted. So now we just need to fuel up six more boats, um, get one more toilet usage, now the toilets have been used, so now we just got to fill up three more cars and six more boats and take care of four more customers. And then I'm guessing we'll get another level of upgrade, so that'll be nice. Uh, let's get all that stuff out of the dumpster again. So we're going to go over here, go to services, garbage collection, get that taken care of. There's our happy dog. Um, he is here with us again on our computer. He follows us from from place to place and always <laughs> always bobs his head. Okay. Just as you want it. That is good. All right. One at the boats. We definitely want the one at the boats. So there we go. Let's run over that away. Get you taken care of. How you doing? And get you filled up. There we go, just as you want. It's and, hey, you splashed me. I saw that. That was rude. There's no call for that. Um, it's okay. It really is. I probably had it coming to me. Man, we got all these barrels everywhere. It's like barrels all over the darn place. Um, I don't think I need to worry about picking them up, but they just they look kind of nasty. So I'd, I'd rather not have them here if I could avoid it. Uh, that's not going to go in there. Maybe it'll go in the back. So we're going to just drop that there. There we go. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, one at the register. Here we go. And how are you doing today? And let us get you all squared away here. One, two, and three. Just as I wanted. Uh, that seems to be a common refrain. Everyone is just as I wanted. 
So <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that, that seems to be a very common thing. Yeah, I do believe that there will be workers here. Um, I think we probably just have to go through a couple levels of upgrades before we can actually get them. Similar to the way it was in Gas Station Simulator, you don't get your workers right from the jump. You actually have to do a bunch of work yourself before they allow you to have workers that help you out. So, yeah, they, they make us do a bunch on our own, and then after we do a bunch on our own, then they'll say, oh, okay, here, you can have some workers. And then you'll be good. Nice! There's the first one of those. So what do we need? We need four more boats, we need one more car, we need three more customers. So we got one more at the register. So we're just running point to point. <laughs> I do like the look of this, of this place. That is definitely a lot nicer look than the Dust Bowl is. No doubt about it. All right, so we got one. Oh, you were worried you were going to go over budget and you only ordered one thing. That is not a very extensive budget. That is for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, who else do we have in here? Uh, Brian Luckabill. How you doing? Good to see you. Use the cannon for faster travel. I haven't gotten the candy yet. i got to find out about this cannon. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go prep my vocals. Well, good luck with your vocals. Um, <laughs> I hope everything goes great. Can you throw the bucket into the water? I don't know if I would want to, but probably, maybe. Uh, Corvidae Goodman. How you doing? Good to see you. It's so, it's so weird to me that the bagging area is on the red. Yeah, I know. That's been weird ever since the original game. I do not understand that. It seems like it's a very, very weird thing. Um, I don't know why they have that that way. But it's the, the, it's been that way since the from the gate or from the get-go. So I, I don't know why, but it's very, very strange. So, all right, we're going to go here. And we're going to get you filled up. Apparently, we can already uh, get our a worker. Wow, they let you have a worker already? Um, employees. Uh, oh, no, we need a trailer. So, uh, houses. Can we... Uh, uh, oh, we can get a house already. Huh. How about that? I didn't think we'd be able to get one of those right from the get-go. There we go. How about that? That's not like it was in the original. The original, they actually made you do some work before you could do that. All right, so let's hire somebody. Uh, so we got Charlotte and we got John. Uh, Charlotte's a little bit better, so I guess we can go with Charlotte. Let's see. Charlotte's new to the industry, having recently graduated from a beauty school. I wonder if she's in hairdresser simulator. Her qualifications make her better suited as a barber or hairstylist. Almost a glaring lack of internship is alarming, suggesting the woman did not do well during her education. She has no previous job experience. It is difficult to judge her capacity for working at a gas station. On the bright side, she was born in the area, meaning she is used to the heat and the sun. Her portrait isn't too flattering. She appears as if she really doesn't want to be here. You're hired. There you go. All right, so let's get you in. Uh, where? What time is it? Um, what time are we in right now? Uh, we're Okay, so you're going to work the night shift. So we're going to go to the employees. Uh, you're going to be on the night shift. And what can you do? What do we want to have you do? So as a primary job, you are going to fuel the boats. And as a secondary job, you are going to uh, handle the register. There you go. You can do that. I'll have you do that. I can clean the station. I'm good with that. There you go. So you're going to fuel the boats. You're going to handle the register. And I will take care of the gas pump. And I will take care of the cleaning of the station. That sounds like it's a pretty good split of work. Uh, I don't know if I'm amazing, but thank you very much for thinking so. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I would definitely need the cannon to kill the shark, so I've got to definitely get that. Uh, Machiavelli, how you doing? So good to see you. So glad you're here. Uh, welcome to Tidal Wave Gas Station Simulator. Uh, it is. We're having a good old time. It is really a good time that we're having here. we got got 100 people here. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here for the new release of Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave. I so appreciate the fact that you're all here. I can't use my broom. Um, I'm thinking that was an error, <laughs> so uh, I would think I can. All right, so we're going to get this emptied out, and we're going to grab this, throw this in here. Okay, so we're going to go back to the PC and get the cannon. So uh, that's going to be under um, 
uh, tools. The cannon. Okay. There we go. So we got the cannon. And we might as well get the paint roller. Might as well. Why not? If I wanted to paint the place. Okay. There we go. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, Andrew Shiel? Andrew Shaw? I hope I didn't mispronounce that. Hi. How you doing? So good to see you. I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, the cannon is fun to blast yourself in the air. No ammo needed. <laughs> it's always good to blast yourself in the air. Uh, what did I have that person doing? Oh, yeah, you're doing the register. That's good. Yeah, Charlotte, you take care of the register. I got to make sure that you get paid automatically. Uh, yes. There we go. Got it. So what do we need? Four more boats, and we need uh, two more customers. Well, I guess I can take care of the one at the boat while you're at the register. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So we'll do this. Uh, already occupied by an employee, so I can't even do that anymore. That's fine. Uh, so I'll just go to the gas station. She's running like mad. Um, can I take care of this? Uh, I can't. Okay, so we'll do that while you're down there. I'm fine with this. So you go and do that. I'll take care of this. We will tag team it. We will make it happen. Um, we got one here. Get you taken care of. Um, let's see. And I think, Trent, yeah, I think you asked something about does this game stress you out? Let me kind of scroll back and see if I did see that. Uh, let's see. Like these cool, go simple games that don't stress you out. Yeah, this one doesn't really stress you out that much. It's really kind of fun. Um, yeah, to be fair to Charlotte, ID followers are rarely flattering. <laughs> I had it right the first time. I can't remember how I said it right the first time. So, Andrew, it's so good you're here. Uh, I thank you for being here with us and for all the fun. Oh, we're out of gas. That's never good in a gas station. Uh, delivery, fuel supply, all of it. There we go. Um, so, yeah, and i got to make sure we don't run out of money. I've got $81. That's not good. So we got to make sure we don't run out of money because that would be kind of unfortunate. So if we take a look around, uh, we've got uh, how much gas do we have? Do I have enough to even fill you up? Yeah, I do. So this will work. we got enough to get this filled up. You don't want to be stranded here. I can tell you that much. You absolutely do not want to be stranded here. So we just need four more boats fueled up. I wonder what's going on there that those are not getting filled up. So we're going to go down here. We're going to take a look. And we're going to see what this is all about. Because for whatever reason, it's not counting it. We're going to see. So we're going to monitor this. And see if this works. And if it doesn't work, I will have her do something else. So we're just going to look. Maybe this is a glitch of sorts. Yeah, that is not counting that. Okay, so we're going to... Huh. Okay, so we got to wait for the fuel to show up. So we're going to do that. The fuel is on its way. So we will get the fuel in here. And then... Oh, we got some fish. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of fish we can throw down here. So we'll throw some fish into the sea here. That will make the volcano a little bit happier. All kinds of fish. Okay, that's great. So, yeah, there we go. That'll get the rage down. We're all about getting the rage down. We don't want to rage against the volcano. So, oh, man, there's tons of fish here. That really makes life a lot easier. Um, I think I hopped up the ladder. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, yeah, the volcano is once again happy. There's a big fish. That ought to count for more. Uh, <laughs> it's nice that they do that because that way you don't really have to worry that much about the rage of the volcano. Um, it's a nice thing that I guess you could let it get away from you if you're not paying attention. Uh, but as long as you keep on paying attention to the fish here, uh, you should be in pretty good shape. All right, fuel delivery is here. Get that filled up. We are good to go there. Going to hop back up the ladder. The volcano is once again very, very happy. I might switch. Oh, now we do have someone here. Okay, so let's do this. And let's try this and get this taken care of. Oh, there we go. And get this in there. Yeah, I've got a... I don't know if it's counting whenever, uh, whenever Charlotte's doing it. So I might switch her off to a different, uh, to a different task. So what task can I have you do instead? So we're going to go here to employees, 
instead of fueling the boats, I think I can handle that. Um, you can, uh, you'll just handle the register, and you will clean the station. So you'll do that. That'll be fine. I'm good with that. I can take care of the fuel pumps. That'll be fine. No issue there. Um, I'm used to doing that anyway, so we'll we'll do this. We'll split up the split up the duties that way, and everything will be good. Um, Harlan Drexel, how you doing? <laughs> so good to see you. Oh man, I'm so glad I got your uh, name right there, Brian. Uh, it's I, I can see where it could be a little bit confusing, but I'm so glad that I got it right. So thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so what are we waiting for? Just three more boats. Just got to get three more boats. I am going to go check the, uh, check the mail here because it keeps on chirping at me. Uh, let's see, uh, Caso time. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Um, that, that was when you're on the Twitch side and you're also on the YouTube side as well. So, uh, so you do have the explanation. What was I going to do here? I was going to read the mail. The cannon. Okay. Cannon is a very useful weapon against the shark. Use the left mouse button to start firing. And, okay, there we go. Don't shoot your clients. Um, that's very good. So, okay, so I do want to try this out. So, let's see. Uh, let's go here. Let's grab the cannon. And, okay, um, shooting at the shark. Yeah, okay, we know that. So, we're going to close this. So, I can... Um, oh, okay. So, we can fire ourselves. Uh, all right, so do I go like this? Okay. Uh, I get it. Um, I fired myself into the water, so I got to kind of watch that a little bit. Uh, but I guess that can help me get around a little bit faster. Uh, let's try this again. Um, whoa, okay. There we go. I'm not sure if it's much faster, but it's a lot more fun. So we got that at least. All right, let's close that up. And uh, fire that there. There you go. Two more boats, and we'll be good. Uh, Shane Amin, how you doing? Hey, this DLC is awesome. You can use the trash bag for the barnacles. Oh, that is good to know. Thank you very much for that. Um, JW89, how you doing? You're here. That's the important part. You are here, so that is good. Brandon Plantier, hey, how you doing? So good to see you. Glad you made it as well. Check up on the scuba rental. Thank you, Andrew G, for letting me, <laughs> for giving me the reminder about the scuba rental. Because, hey, uh, we got five-star service. Um, I'm not sure what we did, but we got five-star service, so that is good. Let's get this person taken care of. How you doing, sir? Uh, there we go. Uh, Fred Deck Tuddy, how you doing? Good to see you. Glad you were able to make it. Glad you are here. All right, let's check out the scuba rental. Thank you, Andrew G. We are going to check out the scuba rental. How are we doing? Uh, we have nothing in here add those all right add to the box shelf perfect so now i gotta get some more of that um do i have a computer over here i do not that is unfortunate okay so we'll do that so we just need two more boats and we'll be in good shape there so we got boat number one over here and then boat number two should be along not long after that so here we go run whoa <laughs> uh, all right so one more boat after this going to wait for that to get up to the top and get you filled up there you go one more to go and then we will have our next level of upgrade okay so let's go here going to grab our trash bag and clean up all the barnacles there we go oh and it's got more fish how about that so all the barnacles into the bag there you go get into the bag and then, oh yeah, we got a bunch of barnacles down here. So let's get all these barnacles, all of you there. Um, and those, there we go. All that into the bag. That makes us look a lot better. There we go. Not going to put the fish in the bag because we want to throw the fish in the sea. We're going to take the barnacles and get them all here. There we go. Look at that. All is well. All right. But now I do have to get rid of the bags. So <laughs> there is that. Um, can I throw those up there? I can't. Uh, I wonder, is there an easy way? Because I don't want to throw the bags in the water. That would not be good. So we're just going to take, I guess I'll take the bags and run them. Oh, we do have the dumpster right here. So there is that. Okay. At least they do give us a dumpster right over here by the warehouse. So that's a little bit better. 
Uh, throw some fish in the sea, make the volcano a little happier, because we do love a happy volcano. And we got our final boat, and Charlotte is just about done with her day. So let's run over here. Let's take care of the boat, get that all squared away, and that should give us our next upgrade. All right, here we go. Perfect. I am a lifesaver. All right. Uh, complete the challenge to unlock new gas station features. Hint, purchase the surfing stand, shower, and workshop to increase your earnings. Okay. So let us go here. Uh, upgrades. Gas station level three, $200. I think we can do that. Boom. We are a little bit bigger. <laughs> We're making it happen here. Another level. You can also get out of the water and also move faster with the cannon. Okay. I will definitely have to check that out. Okay. The volcano is once again happy. We do love a happy volcano. That is good. All right. New mail. The gas station makeover. Okay. So, um, oh, man. It's the uncle again talking to us. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can also move the trash cans in the register. Okay. Okay. I remember that from last time, so that's good. Okay. So, uh, let's get these guys filled up. Okay, we got uh, some trash over here. We'll run that out. And, oh, yeah, we're, we're now on all duty. We got everything. So, I wonder if we can get another house as well. I'm assuming we can, and then we can have a day shift. So, we'll check that out as well. There we go. Cool. So, let's run back here. Oh, I don't even have... Or do I have the money? I do have the money. Um, but let's see. Uh, let's go to employees. But it would cost like $550, wouldn't it? $500. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I will do that. There you go. Might as well spend the money <laughs> on another employee. Welcome to the gas station named Gas Station. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, let's get another employee here to work the day shift. Andrew. Or Emily. Well, we had Emily in the last game, so I got to hire her. Um, she she was in the game, and then she got punted because I had to redo the game. So she's going to be rehired. There we go. Because I feel bad that Emily got uh, knocked out of the last game through no fault of her own. Um, so, Emily, you are going to be on the day shift. You are going to also uh, handle the register, and you are also going to uh, clean the station. There you go. I got people full-time on the register. I will make sure you are always paid. There we go. Now we got it. Um, Emily should be here momentarily to help you out. Yes, she is on her way. Okay, and now we're going to get everyone filled up. And there you go. And all right, let's try this cannon. So we're going to try this. So we're going to shoot the cannon into the ground. And... Uh, yeah, that still doesn't feel like it's any faster than running. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, okay. Uh, but we do have a ladder here. So there we go. Uh, I'm just going to have to get used to that cannon. I know I'll get there. I'm just a cannon newbie. So we'll we'll make it happen. All right. Uh, oh, there's your fuel uh, canister. There it is. You have a nice day as well. And now uh, let's see. Everything is good. We can probably run back here. Oh, so we got, okay, so we got to get a shower. And we got to get some surfing equipment. So we got to get a shower. How much is a shower? Let's take a look here. We got to get the workshop as well. So we got to kind of keep an eye on all of our money. So if we go to upgrades, and if we go here, the shower costs 150 for the shower. Let's do that. There we go. Now we got a shower. Uh, we need some window chicken. If only they had some window chicken here. The volcano is once again happy. <laughs> it's important to have a very happy volcano. Or a gas station name, please don't drown. Yeah, man. If any of you saw the, uh, the uh, beach club simulator, it's amazing how many people there drown or attempt to drown. I do not understand it. I don't know what's up with all those people, but they all attempt to drown, and I do not get it. Um, it's very strange. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know why that constantly happens, but there, <laughs> there's so much drowning that, att that attempts to happen there. 
And uh, it definitely does boggle my mind. Okay. Got to get some more gas. So I'm going to have to be careful at how much I get because I don't have enough money. I did kind of spend my money a little bit foolishly, and I now... Oh, I do have over $100, but I got to try and get myself probably over 200 to have enough money to get gas. So let's see how we're going to do here. Um, oh, now we're good. Okay. So now I can get enough to get some gas. All right. There we go. All the running. <laughs> Just like the original. All right, so we're going to go here, delivery, going to go to fuel supply. I can get 100, and we'll be fine, because I don't have much more money than that. I've got $5.16. Uh, yeah, lock picking. I definitely got to do some lock picking. That's for sure. Uh, floor sushi. We've got floor fish. we got plenty of floor fish. That's for sure. Uh, when you're coming back from the warehouse to, to fuel the boat, you can jump over the fence to the gas pump. Oh, to fuel the boat. You can jump over the fence to the gas pump. Um, okay. I will have to try that out as well. Um, I can jump over the fence. So, uh, let's see. So, if I'm here, I can jump over the fence, like like there, maybe? Uh, is that what we mean? Um, oh, I hate ladders. <laughs> so, uh, so, I guess we can kind of get there that way. So... All right, so right now we're just waiting for the fuel delivery to show up because right now I don't have enough gas to take care of anybody. So we're going to go down here. Do I have any more fish that I can throw in? I've got a few, so let's throw in a few fish, and we'll take care of that. So a few fish into the sea to make the volcano a little bit happier as we wait for the fuel boat to show up. So there we go. Uh, any more fish? I do. Oh, here's a couple more. Perfect. All the fish to make the volcano even happier. There we go. So now we're just waiting for the fuel guy to show up. He's taking his time. Oh, Harlan, thank you very, very much for the $5. Matthew, the computer voice, will be very, very happy to tell everybody what you said. Um, I do appreciate all the generosity. That is very, very nice of you. Thank you so, so much for that. Uh, there's Matthew, the computer voice. Thank you for streaming and for being all around great. Dr. Thank you. Gas pump. <laughs> thank you very much again for the generosity. Um, and thank you for thinking that I'm great because I don't know if I am, but I appreciate the sentiment very, very much. Uh, yeah, thank goodness for the ladder. Otherwise, I would truly drown. No doubt about it. All right, we've got gas again. Uh, now we just got to get some more money so we can get even more gas. And eventually we do have to open the warehouse. So we will eventually get all that. Um, but I kind of spent money on a lot of stuff. Um, the shower looks like it's automatically getting used, so that's good. I don't have to do anything to get the shower running. So that's a good thing. Uh, I don't know how much money we make for the shower, but we're getting money for the shower at least. So, yeah, for anyone who's wondering, I mean, if you've played Gas Station Simulator, the original, there are definitely new things that they have added here. Um, so new tasks, new fun little things that you can do. I probably need to get more scuba gear because I have not gotten scuba gear in a while, so I should probably get some of that. Uh, let's go here to products. Let's go to scuba diving. Um, let's get uh, at least five of those. And um, oh, it's going to uh, shoot. Let's see. Let's close that back up. Can I get eight? And will that get rid of the fee? Oh, so now that's interesting. Because it's like, huh, there we go. So eight gets rid of the fee. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. There we go. So no equipment at the scuba rental. <laughs> I, I did that just in time. So everyone at the scuba rental will have to wait just a little bit. And then will be good there so just a moment and we will have more scuba gear thank you all for your patience we appreciate it very very much this is actually a perfect time for me to take a little bit of a drink of water so i think i'm going to do that here for just a second here ah there we go that is better all right we've got customers in both places to get gassed up how you doing sir good to see you 
get you taken care of. Great, I agree. And all right, let's try the let's try this again. We're gonna fire and go that way. That got us a little bit closer. And then we'll just run the rest of the way. So <laughs> I will eventually figure that out. Um, not the broom. That's what we want. Okay, get you fueled up. Um, we're just waiting for the delivery person. They're a little bit of a ways away still. And do we have any more fish? We have no more fish. So, um, yeah, no more fish around here. So we will have to wait for some more fish to show up. And then we can make... Um, or we can eventually get a coconut and put a coconut in the altar. Um, can you throw the trash to the volcano like you did with the alligator? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know if that would make the... I don't even know if that would make the thing happy. I think the only thing you can throw in there is coconuts. Um, someone in the chat might be able to confirm that because it seems like there are some people that have played the game and would have the answer to that. Uh, but I, I personally do not know as to whether or not you can do that or whether or not it would have an effect and if it would have a positive effect. There's a part of me that feels like it may not have a positive effect because I don't know how much the volcano would appreciate me throwing trash into the altar. So, <laughs> but that is an excellent question. All right, here we go. Here's our scuba equipment. Going to grab that, put that here. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Uh, can I run out here? Will it let me hop out here? Um, yes. And I'm going to try to not drown here. Um, whoa. Uh, go back. Uh, where am I? I've done something bad. So uh, apparently we got to go back. This was a bad idea. Uh, um, all right. We will be returned to the gas station. Uh, I'm just going to get returned to the gas station. <laughs> I had a thought. It didn't work. Okay. So now back over to the scuba rental. I was just trying to shortcut to the scuba rental, and that did not work. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, here we go. More stuff in the scuba rental. Uh, four into the scuba rental. There we go. Uh, three, that's interesting. Oh, because one's already in use. Got it. There we go. That's what's going on. That's why there are three there. Understood. And I'm wondering, is there a way to get more lockers? I'm guessing there's a way to get more lockers. And I just have to figure that out. Probably have to upgrade. Probably have to upgrade the scuba area is what I'm guessing. And that will probably get us more lockers. I'll have to check that out as well. But first, I need to get this car fueled up. So let's do that. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I've never been much of a lock picker. I know that there's plenty of stuff that you can get from lock picking trunks. trunks. I need to... You can throw items in the altar. Okay. Um, okay, uh, let's, uh, all right, I'm going to take this barrel. <laughs> so, if we take this barrel and throw it in the altar, uh, let's, let's give this a whirl. Throw it on the wall, see what sticks. Okay, let's try this. We're going to take this, throw it up there. Um, uh, or do we have to throw it? Um, no, uh, it's not going to let me throw it in there. Uh, uh, do I have to interact? Can I just set it there? Oh, I have to, huh. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, all right, we're we'll just pick that up. Maybe you have to. Maybe it's got to be an actual item, and not garbage, because I think it's got to be something that you can store. And I don't think I can stash that. So let's see. Yeah, it's items that are in your backpack, and I can't take a barrel and put it into my backpack. So yeah, that was a that was another failed experiment, but that's okay. We had a nice run to the altar, so there's that. Um, okay. Get you fueled up. Got to order more gas. Cool. I agree. How much money do we have now? $300. Okay. That's enough to fuel, fill us back up on gas. So let's go here. Delivery fuel supply. And that's... Uh, do we have enough money? No. Um, reset order. Uh, we're going to do that much because that's as much money. I don't have enough to do a full order. Okay. There we go. Um, what at the boats? So we're just going to run over here to the boats. I could have probably filled this up, and then I could have filled up the the the, uh, the fuel supply. So I did not see that this boat was here. But that's okay. No big deal. You have a nice day as well. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. Can't throw trash in there. 
Uh, that does not work. So uh, let's see. <laughs> what else do we have? So in our challenge, let's see. Five boats have been fueled, seven cars. We've served nine customers. We've got 15 scuba equipment rentals. Oh, i got to get surfing equipment at some point, too. Um, right now, it's just about getting the money. So just got to get the got to get the cash, and once we have the cash, then we can start getting the other stuff. But that's kind of where we are right now. Okay, hopefully you're gonna yeah, perfect. I have not enough gas to fill anybody else up, so we're just gonna have to wait for the fuel boat to show up, and once they show up, then we can actually start filling up cars with gas again. Because right now I am just about out of gas. So let's chuck that up there. I'm going to take these and chuck them. Oh, there's all three of them show up there. Is that actually garbage? I'm guessing it is. Uh, so we're going to... That or it's just bags that I don't need. So we're going to get rid of those. And then there was this garbage bag. And I don't know where... Oh, here it is. So we'll grab that. We'll throw that away. And there we go. And where is our fuel boat? Are they... Man, this is the slowest fuel boat. <laughs> I don't know why he's so slow. Um, I would have figured that he would have been a little bit quicker than this, but apparently not. It is the slowest fuel boat that we know. So, no big deal. It'll be here in a moment, and then we will get everything filled up here. All right, there you are. We've been waiting for you for a while. The, the whole stream has been waiting for you. So, there we go. We've got more gas. That is good. Uh, shark sighted. All right. Let us find out where we need to be. Where is the shark? Um, let's take a look. This is the first time I'm seeing a shark, so let's do this. Uh, let's grab the cannon. Uh, where is the shark? Let us take a look. Uh, I don't know if I see him. I don't know if that's you. Are you the shark? I'm going to fire that direction. I don't think that was the shark. Uh, let's run the other direction and see if I can see the shark. Uh, I would be pretty... Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a giant shark fin. Um, all right. Let's just fire like crazy at it. Um, all the firing. Um, I think I hit it a couple times. I'm going to probably have to run to the other side. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. So, perfect. The shark has been averted. And it's nice that they do give you the, uh, the nice siren there. So, I am happy about that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have bunnies. Oh, you're talking to Yoda. I'm like, uh, there are bunnies here? I didn't see bunnies. <laughs> so, uh, that would be interesting. We have bunnies out here. But, no. Um, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Now we got gas. There we go. So, we're going to run back this way. And we're going to fill up the boat. And then we're going to fill up the car. And continue on with the challenge. And how much money do we have now? Uh, $375. That might be enough to consider getting the showers. So I might have to do that because I know we got to, or not the showers, uh, the surfing equipment. So we're going to take a look at that and see how much money that is as well. So let's find out how much is it super duper. So let's go here and let's find out about the surfing equipment. So let's go here. Uh, is it going to be under delivery? Is it products? Uh, surfing, but we probably need something. So let's go to upgrades and swing over. Surfing. There we go. $250. Um, but I guess we should do it. There we go. Now we have surfing equipment. Slowly but surely, we're getting bigger and bigger. And the volcano is happy. And that was the most important part because the volcano was starting to get kind of upset. So <laughs> that's good. Uh, the shark, he's just curious. <laughs> it's here, fishy, fishy. I love it. No equipment at the windsurfing rental. Okay, so we got to get some equipment. Let's hope that the equipment's not too much money. Uh, let's see how much is going to be for this equipment. Uh, surfing, $30. So I can get five of these. So let's get five of these, and I'll have no money again. Uh, I should probably only get three, because I don't know how close we are to having to pay the um, to paying our, our employee. Let's find that out first. What time is it? It's 3.18. Okay, so we got plenty of time. We'll make plenty of money between now and then. Okay. So delivery of products. 
and surfing. And we'll get uh, five of those. Will that be enough to not have to pay the fee? Perfect. There we go. That is ordered. And now we just need uh, the money. Uh, we, so we need to get people filled up with fuel. In the mail, nothing new in the mail. Okay. So it was telling us that we had mail, but we don't. So every once in a while, I scratch my head at the you've got mail notification because we don't actually have mail. So great job. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's run this away and fill up the boat. And that will get you taken care of. All right, here we go. You were worried you were going to go over budget. I don't know how you fit that much gas in your little water ski there. Because <laughs> that thing doesn't look like it would hold that much gas, but apparently it does. I am kind of quizzical. Okay, so now, all right, so we've got $110, so I've got enough money to take care of paying our next, uh, for paying our employee. So that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, Eric Buskin, how you doing? Volcano's getting angry. Uh, Kibu, hi, how you doing? So good to see you. Um, have we unlocked a pier yet? Uh, I have not yet unlocked a pier. That will be um, doing pretty good. Have I checked my backpack lately for items I could sell? Uh, let's see, do I have any items I could sell? Um, it does not look like I have any items I could sell because um, I haven't done anything that would give me items. So, uh, yeah, I don't have any items I can sell. So, but I haven't, like, picked any locks or anything like that. So that's probably part of it. So let's see. I'm so excited for this one. Watch the playlist of the original. Uh, yeah, it's a really fun one. It is really, really a fun one. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really having a good time with it. So, yeah, I hope you get to give it a try soon. You will really, really enjoy it. I know that for sure. Um, because it's, it's everything the gas station simulator was and then some. So it's really, really a good time. All right, we're almost out of gas again. Oh, man, always the need for gas. So it's like we run a gas station or something here. What's this all about? All right, so let's run over here. Uh, we're going to grab the windsurfing equipment, put that there. Going to run up. And where is the windsurfing rental? So if I look, where did that go? There's the scuba shop. Uh, the windsurfing rental is we will find it we're going to keep on taking a look around i guess i can go here so let's go into here and let's see where it is from here let's take a look here management uh it is oh way on the other side oh gosh that's a haul okay so let's see let us um let's see if i can fire myself with the cannon so we're going to try that there we go uh, again, that's still, I just must suck at the cannon. That's the only thing I can figure is that I am just no good with the cannon. Um, so I don't know. Maybe you got to fire the cannon over and over and over again. Uh, surfing boards. Um, or does it go here? Box shell. There we go. So we're going to put uh, four in here. So we're going to add four there. So there we go. Can I add all of them? No. And I guess this is going to be the same way where we have to, yeah, this is going to probably be the same thing where you got to set the threshold on it. And I'm going to leave it at 50% because I'm feeling cautious. So we'll do that. So there we go. Now we got everyone that can windsurf. That's good. Uh, I got to get some more gas. So we'll take care of that as well. Uh, and how much money do I have? $167. So we got to get a little more money, and I'm going to run out of money because I've got to pay um, Emily as well. So that's a bummer. So how much gas do we have still? i got enough to do a couple more fill-ups, and then I think we'll be good because, yeah, I can do two more fill-ups, and then I will probably be out of gas by that point. So let's see. We're going to go over here and get you filled up, and then I think we'll have... Yeah, we will just be out of gas at that point. So, and are you paid? You are paid. Perfect. So now we can run up here and we can get some more gas. And I think we'll be able to get just enough gas. Uh, let's see. Fuel supply. Yes, I can get 100. 
order that. There we go. Um, let's see. Uh, what are we doing? Are we doing hints? Uh, we've had people that are giving hints, so that's good. I mean, that, that, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I feel lockpicking is more important in this version for extra money and getting items to sacrifice at the volcano. Yeah, I'll probably have to try that out for at, at some point for sure. Can I search the island for items? I don't know. I have not tried. I know that there are coconuts around here. So they talk about there being coconuts. They said it at the very beginning, but I, I have not looked for the coconuts to know for sure where they are. Um, let's see. So, uh, yeah, I will have to check and see if I can find out where the coconuts are at some point. So, um, because I remember them saying something about it, but I don't know where they are. Oh, I'm out of gas. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Um, shoot. <laughs> That's a problem. I ran myself completely out of gas. So, no biggie. We will wait for them to show up. And everything will be fine. So, meanwhile, because I, I, I remember them saying something about coconuts. So, let's take a look at our mail. And see what they said. Because or maybe I dreamed it, but I could have sworn that I saw it. So let's see. Um doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's see. Make an offering throwing coconuts into the cauldron. Um okay, good customer service, upgrading the station, buying landmarks, or restoring certain animals to their natural environments. So uh throwing coconuts. So yeah, I just gotta find some coconuts. And or is the boat almost here? I think the boat's almost here. Yeah, he's pretty close. So I'm going to wait for the fuel boat. And then we might see if we can find some coconuts. Because I do want to see if I can figure out where the heck those are. Because that is something that they mentioned. So we will see if we can find some. I have no fish left to appease the gods. So that's okay. I mean, he's still only half mad. So it could be worse. I mean, he's only half mad. That's no big deal. All right, um, let's get some gas here. Uh, we'll get that filled up again a little bit. Yeah, I've got to. I've just got to get enough money to be able to um, to get a bigger fill, a uh, bigger fill up. But we're we're getting there. I remember the beginning gas station simulator was also kind of sluggish, and you were really kind of uh, fifty six seventy nine. I saw it as you were driving away. Uh, that's how much you owe me. So, yeah, I, I remember the beginning of Yes Student Simulator was the same way, where it felt like you were constantly in a struggle for money, but eventually you get there. And it also doesn't help that I don't have the uh, warehouse going, or the, the workshop, because I know that the garage is always a good source of money, but I just don't have that up and running yet. Uh, but soon we will. But now I can actually order more gas, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go right here again. And get another hundred, because I can do that. Um, there we go, perfect. So I believe I did that. Did that happen, or is it? Or did it? Is it because no? It probably didn't happen because he's leaving. So I got to probably wait for him to completely leave, and then I can order some more. So there we go. Uh, Drea, how you doing? Hey, Stardew Valley. Yeah, I do have to try that. I really do have to try that because the last time I tried it, this is what happened last time I tried it. When I tried it, um, you know, when I tried it, uh, the the um, my screen capture didn't work. So I that was the issue I had was that the screen capture failed on me. So I had a really nice episode of it done. And this is going back like a few weeks ago. And when I looked, the screen capture had completely failed. So I was very, very sad face. So I do have to try that again because I really would like to do one of that. Um, so yes, I will try it again and I'll see if I can figure out why my screen capture didn't work because that would be a really fun one to do. Um, but yeah, there, there was one attempt and I had to abandon it because there was nothing for anybody to see. And that was very sad. So, okay. Let us go this direction. Oh, we can fill up this car. And now I think that the uh, boat has left. And so now I think we can probably get more gas again. Yeah, we got $350. The boat is gone. I wish I just had enough money to fill completely up. 
but we're not there yet. So, because if I try to order enough, it's not going to be, I don't have enough money. Or do I? 308s. Oh, I do. Perfect. I got enough money. Okay, cool. There we go. Now we got it. So, yeah, I really want to see if I can make that happen. Uh, Jonathan Tweddle, how you doing? Hey, I'm loving the game. I am absolutely loving the game. Yeah, I know. I got to do some lock picking. I've had many people that have said I got to do some lock picking. So, yeah, I've got to make it happen. But it's also going to cost me $150 for the lock pick. <laughs> and right now I'm just completely challenged on money. But, yeah, then when I have the money, then I can do some lock picking. Um, I know. Um, it goes a little bit against my ethical code, but sometimes you gotta, sometimes you just gotta go against your ethical code to get some cash and to get some items to appease the volcano. So nice. Okay. So let's see, what do we have here? Um, such a great job. Your customers were safe for zero days. Uh, death count seven. Um, huh. Why are my customers dying? It doesn't feel like they should be dying. Cause I feel like I get everything set at a very high safety threshold so that would seem like it wouldn't shouldn't happen but maybe it is um i don't know but uh yeah that's weird um and i'm not seeing any coconuts these are well these are coconuts but it's not letting me pick any of them up so i don't know if i need different coconuts or something i'm gonna run this way because i haven't been over here but it doesn't look like there's anything to see there so we're gonna run back I'm uh, just doing a little exploring. So, yeah, uh, these feel like these should be coconuts that I should be able to pick up, but I cannot. So, huh. All right. We will continue investigating, and we'll see. Can I pick up these? No. Um, there's So, yeah, there's supposed to be these magical coconuts, but I cannot pick them up. So, huh. We'll, we'll keep looking. Uh, we'll figure it out. It will be fine. Uh, all right, so back this way we got to go. And we're going to get this person filled up. And uh, do we have... Oh, the, all right, the fuel delivery is there. Perfect, that's what I needed. I'm going to run through here, get all the gas, and then we're getting to be in better shape. That's for sure. This is... It's, it's starting to come together just a little bit. There we go. Now we got all the gas. Because now I think I really, the next thing I want to do is I want to get the workshop built. Because that will also help to make the uh, make our guy a little less unhappy. Make the volcano uh, a little more happy. So, all right, we're going to get you filled up. And how are we doing on time? It is 1620. So we're in between uh, times where we need to, uh, in between times where we need to uh, uh, pay our workers. I probably should also check over at the scuba area because it has been forever since I checked over at the scuba area. So we probably have to get this done too. Yep, I have not been here in quite some time. Let us add all of those. Um, so add those and that's it. We got two in the warehouse. There we go. That's um, negative. Uh, that's weird. That shouldn't be right. Um, huh. That is like negative 132.5. That's a bad number. Um, hmm. I wonder if that is a glitch of sort. Uh, can I take this out of here? Is there any way to remove that from the shelf? I don't know. Huh. Well, that might explain why I have people dying. <laughs> um, uh, I, yeah, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Um, how are we doing? Uh, Grazina, how are you doing? I don't think I've said hi to you yet. Sometimes you got to go against your ethical code to get some cash. Yeah. Uh, coconut to machine to the left of the altar, but it costs money. Oh, okay. Um, so that explains it. Okay. I figured that you were going to have to just uh, pick them up off the ground. Uh, Rock Island. I do know Rock Island. Um, yes. I am familiar with Rock Island. Uh, I've not been there, but I am familiar with it. So, Yes. Um, all right, let's run. We got to do some gas. Oh, yeah, we got people that we can fill up in both places. So here we go. Uh, get you filled up with gas. And there we go. And we got one down here that we're going to fill up here. I do love the sunset. The sunsets are very pretty. Um, so we that is, a, that is a nice feature. Okay, let's get you filled up. 
All right, how are we doing on money? $433. Okay, I think at this point, now we can probably get the garage. So let's do that because I've got to get some cars repaired as well. So workshop. There we go. Uh, 250 bucks. Boom. There we go. We got that. That is going. That will make the volcano uh, hopefully a lot happier. So we'll see how much happier the volcano is now. Uh, hopefully a lot. So how are you doing, Mr. Volcano? Oh, that didn't do a lot. Oh, well, that was worth a try. But now at least we got people that we can take care of in the garage. And where did the garage get set up? Uh, let's take a look at the map. And that will tell us where the garage is. So if we look here, the garage is, oh, okay. So it is behind the gas station. Okay, so it's right over there. Got it. Now I get it. Okay. But we still have plenty of money. So that's good. Um, it's, it's getting a little bit better now in that regard. I still don't know why there were things that were going crazy with our scuba equipment. Um, I don't know if that's maybe just a glitch of sorts. Wouldn't surprise me with it being day one that maybe something glitched out with the scuba equipment. Um, I'll have to check that out and see if that's continuing to do that. But that was weird that that had that negative number like that. So uh, let us uh, see. All right, one customer already at the garage. I don't want. To, I wonder if I don't have any products. I wonder if they give you some products to start. Let us see. Uh, the garage is over there. There we go. It's this direction. How you doing? So I think the only thing that we get to do to your car is change the oil, and that's it. So let's see. Uh, pick this up, and uh, do we have any oil? Do they give us any oil? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look around, um, and we're gonna go here to the computer first. And let's see, what do they give us? Um, actually, let's go here. So we got our scratch doctors. We've got our mirrors. Uh, we should have, because I never got that done in the previous one. So I'm trying to figure out where, uh, so if I hit that, oh, it's tires. So, oh man, people have bad tires here. Okay, so it's not the oil. Um, okay, so we gotta get some tires, okay. So sorry, sir, you're gonna have to wait a while. Uh, delivery, um, not products, uh, we want uh, parts. So delivery of parts and tires, because everybody needs tires, it's always tires. So let's get six tires and I'll probably need to get some scratch removers. I've got to watch out on my money. So I'll get one scratch remover, I'll get one mirror. There we go. And I think that we'll be okay. All right. So we're doing a little bit all right. Yeah, because we are we paid our previous employee, and we got another one that's just started. So I don't have to worry about paying anyone right away. So that's good. Um, so, yeah, now we can get more money. Um, yeah, we got plenty, plenty of gas. So we're good there. That's good. So... All the balancing acts going on. <laughs> so much balancing. All right. Get you filled up. And then we're good there. Awesome. I agree. Awesome. That is good. Hit the like button to keep the volcano happy. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look. Uh, how much is it for a coconut? And how much good does a coconut do? So let's take a look. So if we go apparently to the left of the altar... There's a coconut machine. Yep, I see it. There it is. How much for a coconut? Uh, how much are you? Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, it is a current coconut, current combo. Five consecutive, one dollar off the price. Ten is two off. And so, okay. I don't know how much it cost me for the coconut, but I, uh, I hit it. So I, I can just chuck it from here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, I went way too far. That didn't work. All right, so let's try this again. How much did I... Oh, it was five bucks for a coconut. All right, so let's try that. All right, let's try again. I'm wasting money on coconuts. I'm just going to walk up real close to it. I'm going to... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, boo on you. All right, let's try one more. Let's waste all of our money on coconuts. Did it give me... 
Uh, or what, what happened? Okay. One more time. <laughs> All right. How about that? Oh, that was almost there. Okay, that's fine. I wasted plenty of money on coconuts. Um, it was worth a try. And no big deal. Uh, nothing gained, nothing ventured. All right, gas you up. And you're all good. Thank you much. We're going to get the stuff to take care of the car at the garage. Because that will help us make some more money. And more money is always good. So here we go. Drop down. Grab these. Put those there. Thank you very much. We will see you later. Run up this away. Going to run back to the garage. And then get that car taken care of over here. How you doing, sir? Thank you for the wait. Sorry that we made you wait so long. But now we got some tires for you. And that's the important thing because even here, people need tires. All right, here you go. We're very familiar with this exercise. We've done this a million times. So going to get this tire taken care of and then one around on the other side. There we go. And then one over here. And I think you'll be all set after that. There we go. And this one. And get this taken care of. And there we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. That'll do. I agree. All right. Let's see. How much money do I have now? $349. Okay. So let us go here. Let us start getting into some general malfeasance. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to go to tools. And we're going to get a lockpick. And we're going to get into some general malfeasance. Um, because we need to start doing some little bits of general malfeasance right in plain view. How are you doing, sir? Um, I know that I shouldn't be doing this right in front of you, but we're going to do it anyway. So i um, sorry that we're picking your lock right in front of you. Um, I hope you don't mind, and I'm sorry if you do. Uh, there's not much you can do about it. So, okay, we got a thing. Perfect. There we go. Um, and are you leaving? No, you're not leaving. Okay. <laughs> but we got a thing. We'll go take the thing. We'll run it up to the altar. I feel a little icky. Um, just a little icky. But I guess you got to do what you got to do. Because, I mean, after all, this volcano needs to be made happy. So we're going to go here. Um, we'll throw that in. Um, sacrifice it. And that gets rid of a lot of the anger. So, yeah, what are you going to do? Sometimes you got to fracture an occasional law. So the coconut you lost was rolling around on the ground, probably still there. Um, uh, I'd have to go back and check. Yeah, it may still be there. But now I'm too far away. I'm too far gone now. So, okay, let's run back this way. All right, we're doing a little bit better on money. So I feel better about that. That's a, that's a good start. I should probably go check the windsurfing stuff as well. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let us go check the windsurfing stuff. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to hit the cannon here. Let's try this cannon again. So we're going to do this. And, oh, again, that doesn't get me that far. I'm just, I, I just, I must, can you fire the cannon over and over again? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Let's try this. Um, nope, that doesn't help. Or, it, I mean, it does a little. I, so I guess I can do that. Maybe that's the thing I've been missing. I still don't know if it's faster, but I guess it's more fun. So, <laughs> all right, let's take a look in here. How are we doing in here? We've got uh, one in the warehouse. Let's add it to the shelf. So add that to the shelf. And everything here still seems fine. That seems like it's working. Cool. Um, we got people that are coming over here to do that. That is good. I got to buy more gas. So, <laughs> fracture the law like he's jaywalking. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's just a minor infraction. I mean, yeah, it's lockpicking. I, I think they call that a minor infraction around here. I'm, that's what I'm going to go with, at least. Um, no one can prove otherwise. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, more gas. Uh, I can get all the gas. There we go. Down to $144 again. I am going to run back over to the scuba equipment and see if this is still kind of borked. 
Uh, so let's see what we've got over here. Is this still negative? Yeah, something is completely broken with this. <laughs> so I've got a, yeah, I don't know what happened there, but something with that went completely wrong. Um, hmm. And I'd hate to have to start the game over, but I don't know if I'm going to have a choice because that's, yeah, that is completely busted. So, yeah, we might have to, we might have to see with that. Because that doesn't look like it should be right. You should not be at negative 300% on your scuba gear. That does not sound like it is a proper number. So let us go over here. Let us fill up this uh, boat. How much money or how much gas do I have left here? We have 36 liters. Okay, I have enough to fill you up. And then from there, we can run to the garage. And hopefully the person at the garage does not need more than one mirror or more than one uh, scratch daddy. So let's see. Who's at the garage? Who can it be now? And what can we do for your car? How you doing? What you got going on over here? Uh, one mirror, one tire, one door. I think I can do one of each of you. So that's good. So we got that. We'll get the mirror, put that in. And we'll immediately grab the mirror. And what side was the mirror on? It was on this side. All right, back to the crackly bits. A um, couple of crackly bits right there. Boom, boom, that's out. Put that in. And then we got a scratch daddy or a scratch doctor. Scratch daddy is a completely different thing. Um, that was on this side, okay. Man, that's a lot of scratches. I didn't even think that was possible here on the island. I mean, you drove through all the palm trees. <laughs> Trunk first. All right, there we go. And then one more tire. So let's get that tire, put that on. And then we got to run over to the warehouse and get that taken care of over there. Uh, yeah, that's the fuel delivery over at the warehouse. There we go. And I think you are all set. You are. Great job. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Back to the warehouse we go. And we will get the fuel back in the tanks because that helps to gas up the cars and the boats. Generally makes a pretty, <laughs> generally makes a difference. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, you've been waiting for a while. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe close scuba and then reopen. I can try that. Let's try that. Let's see if that will work. Um, that is a good idea. Let's see. Go to management. Uh, scuba, you are closed. Uh, everybody leave. Uh, and now let's uh, let's actually run over there real quick and let's see if everything looks good there. Uh, maybe that took care of the error that we had over there. So let's fly through the air and let's see what we got over here now. And uh, how is this looking now? Is that better? No, that's still going crazy. Um, okay, I might have to save the game and restart it. Let's try that. Because, yeah, the scuba is completely borked. So let's uh, save the game. And we're going to save it. Uh, we'll save it in this slot. Uh, yes, we're going to overwrite that slot. That's called Challenge 4. Okay, we're going to then exit out. So we're going to go to the main menu. And then we're going to hop back in and we're going to see if this works. Because, yeah, there's something definitely not right there. So let's go back in. Let's load this one. Uh, he's a happening looking dude. And he's got a shiny camera. Um, he definitely screams tourist. <laughs> as would be expected. Okay. So there we go. Now let's take a look over at the scuba. And see how we're doing. Uh, renew. There we go. Yeah, for whatever reason, it wasn't even letting me renew it. So now that's better. Perfect. That is good. We've got that all taken care of. Everything is well. And we will uh, hop back in here, go back into management. The scuba is once again open for your convenience. And now, how are we doing? Oh, I got to get stuff. Um, definitely got to get more stuff, uh, but that's fine. We'll take care of that in a bit. So, got the fuel, and we got the, um, uh, what do we need? The boats. 
yeah, we got one at the boats. So we need four more boats. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to get this challenge done. Um, that would be good because I think we can make this happen. I'm pretty sure we can make this happen. I don't. I've got a. I've got a good feeling about it. Um, I might have to fracture another law to see if I can find another item to give to the volcano because I noticed we're starting to get a little angry again. Um, so we're going to see if we can find an item here. Um, I don't want to break into the cop car. <laughs> That's breaking a big law, and I don't know if I want to go that far. So I'll, I'll wait until someone that's not a cop is over there. Um, and we'll, we'll break into their car. Because I've got to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know where I'm going to draw the line, but I've got to draw the line somewhere. And it's going to be at cops. So, all right, let's bust out our lockpick. Um, I'm going to not do it in plain sight of the cop either. So. Uh, why are all you cops here? I mean, uh, what are you guys doing? Just just go away. You don't see anything. You go in there. You go to your car. And we're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to do this. No, Nobody sees anything. There we go. Um, all right. So we're going to move it this way. Uh, more this way. There we go. A little more. A little more. Um, okay. Five bucks. Uh, <laughs> just checking was that. Okay. So, but unfortunately, no item. That's fine. We'll eventually get an item, and we'll be good. All right, back to the boats. And we got someone at the register, but yeah, um, Emily's working the register, so I don't have to worry about that. And we got uh, someone in the garage. Yeah, we got to get the garage. I need three more cars repaired. So let's see. Uh, hopefully, they don't need anything other than tires. Fingers crossed that they need nothing other than tires. So let's see. Uh, we're going to run back this way. And when we go this way, we get what? What is on your car? What do you need? Uh, please tell me it's only tires. And please tell me that's only... Oh, it's a door. Oh, shoot. It's everything. All right. Um, how much money do I have? $590. So delivery of parts. Uh, let's get a few tires. So let's get a few of those. Let's get a few scratch removers. Um, and let's get a few mirrors. All right, so we got five of everything. That will work. Um, it's going to cost me $462. That's okay. I need all that anyway because the garage makes tons of cash. So we'll fix what we can, and then we'll come back for the rest. So we'll get these taken care of. Get your tires all fixed. And then once the other stuff shows up, we will get that taken care of as well. You unfortunately have the really, really busted car. So we're going to do everything that we can to get it taken care of. Um, but you will have to wait just a little bit. So I hope you don't mind. All right. So we got this tire. Um, we got people waiting everywhere. That's fine. And uh, we'll get this one put on. And then we got one more to put on. And that one is going to be over there. I'm surprised that uh, Emily hasn't come over here to clean up the garage. I wonder if they don't clean up the garage. Huh. They they did in the original one. Maybe they don't clean up the workshop here. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe I got to clean up my own tires. And if so, no big deal. I can handle that. Um, but I'm just surprised that no one has come over here yet. All right. So now you got to wait for the rest of it. So because I don't have the rest of the parts. So we will get those parts momentarily. They are en route um, on the slowest boat known to mankind. There you go. You are good. I, and I run into another door because <laughs> some things never change. All right. We'll get this boat. And by then, the, uh, the parts boat should be here as well. So this should all work out pretty well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's run up here and wait for the parts boat we'll run over here and let's see uh let's see yeah you're, it's not lock picking you're just fixing their broken trunk <laughs> i like your attitude I, I i'm a fan I, I like the attitude okay firebug i don't know how long you've been over there on the twitch side and i'm sorry for that i just now noticed but hi how you doing it's so good to see you. I'm glad that you're here for our opening day of 
of uh, Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave. I hope you are having a wonderful Thursday. I know I am. We're having a whole lot of fun. We're fracturing the occasional law. We're shooting sharks with cannons. We're filling up cars left and right. Um, it's it's just a, a ballyhoo of stuff all going on. So, yeah, I am so glad that you were able to make it. Okay, there we go. You're taken care of. Nice. Let's make our way back to the garage and get the rest of your stuff cleaned up. So there you go. We got our scratch removers. Got our mirrors. Are going to get those taken care of? Grab a mirror right away. What side was it on? This one. Okay. All the crackly bits. You've got lots of crackly bits. So get those. And then one scratch doctor. And I've got to get used to where everything is in this garage. So, oh, no. Got to grab one. And that was on the other side. All right. Here we go. And you've got a bunch of scratches as well. Okay. Get these all taken care of. And this is good because, like I said, the garage make lots of money. I'm all about garage money. Thank you a bunch. I appreciate it. All right. And one at the boat docks. So let's go there. So all we need, we need one more boat. We need two more things of scuba equipment. And we need two more cars. And we will then have the next level of the station. That's a pretty good day, I would say. I, I feel like we've done pretty good stuff if we get there. So, all right. Whoa, super. super duper. All right, let's run back up here. Um, no equipment at the windsurfing rental. Okay, I, we ran through all that pretty quick. So, let's go here. We're going to do a delivery of products. Did I have more of that? I think I had, a, I think I had some of it. But I'm going to order a few more anyway. So I'm going to order seven because I think I had one. I'm pretty sure I had one. So we're going to do that. All right. Um, uh, uh, look the other way. Oh, look, a chicken. It's a window chicken. Look that other way. Um, all right. So uh, how about this? Uh, is it this way? No, it must be this way. All right. A little more. A little more. There we go. A swamp photo. Perfect. That's what we needed. All right, we're going to run right over to the altar and appease the gods once again. Where did the altar go? Only I could lose the altar. <laughs> here it is. There we go, running up here. Interact, a swamp photo, sacrificed. You are much happier. I am happy about that. There we go. We have lived to fight another day with the volcano. And now I want to run over here because I do want to see. I, I feel like I had one windsurfer left because I thought I bought five. Um, no, I am wrong. So we don't. That's fine. So no equipment there. We got customers to the left, customers to the right, customers everywhere. Oh, we got $640, so that is good. Um, there's the coconut on the steps. I, I don't think I can pick those up. That's the thing. Um, th these are not pickable. So these are just their, their decoration. So the other one that I had, I don't know where it went. It may have disappeared into thin air. But yeah, there's a lot of them that look like that you can pick them up, but they're just liars. So they make it look like you can get them, and you can't because the game is rude like that. So uh, you just, you're just you kind of stuck with uh, all the decor decorative coconuts. Super duper. All right. I need two, all I need now is just two more in the garage. So let's make this happen. And I'm getting tired of seeing all the tires here. So I'm going to pick up these tires and get these out of here. Because apparently I'm not going to get any help here. So we're going to pick up all the tires. And then I, I'm hoping that there's a, uh, a, a dumpster right over here. That would be nice. All right. So you got at least this tire. And we're going to get this put on. And we'll see what else you got. Oh, delivery at the warehouse gate. That's our windsurfing stuff. Okay, what else do you have? So what else do you have going on? Just that. I don't know if I'm amazing, but I'll take it. All right, over to the windsurfing we go. So this away, because then we got to get our windsurfing equipment. But we are going to take a small detour and fill up this boat, because he's right here. So we're going to do that. And then I think we can hop in the water and grab the ladder. So we will do that. All right, there we go. Up this ladder we go and run over here and grab the windsurfing equipment. 
And there you go. Thank you very much. And now out we go this way. And over this direction. Um, is this a shortcut? I'm going to try. Let's see. We're going to go this way. Uh, I think we're going to be fine. Oh, you, oh you're gonna, you're not going to let me through here? Seriously? Um, oh, where am I now? Uh, there's the ladder. Come on, climb the ladder. Oh, man, that's not fair. Why can't I get through there? <laughs> you and your artificial pixels. Um, that's wrong. Okay, let's use the cannon. I'm going to cannon over this. There we go. Now we got it. So, all right. Now we're going to run over here. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit the shift key. Going to get our windsurfers put back. Um, add all to the box shelf. There we go. Close that up. I've uh, got one more left at the garage. That's all I need is the one more at the garage. And we will have the next level of the gas station available. Whether or not I can afford it is a different story, but I will at least have it available. So I'm going to go over here. How much gas do I have left? Uh, we've got how much? Uh, we'll have about 30 liters. Thank you very much. Okay, what do you need here in the garage? Let's take a peek. Hopefully not much, but we shall see. Um, your tires look good on this side. Uh, how about on this side? It's always the front right. It's always the front right tire. I'm pretty sure that's a running joke that everyone has a bad front right tire in Gas Station Simulator. I, I'm pretty sure there's something to that, and I just don't know what it is. All right, so we're going to get that tire fixed up. And what else do we have here? Anything else? Another tire and a mirror. Okay. Grab this tire and put that on. And we'll get that screwed on. Or unscrewed, rather. And get this tire loosened. And a new one put on. There we go. And then you got one mirror. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Going to grab that mirror and going to go over here and going to get all the crackly bits. Lots of crackly bits. All gone. Boom. There you go. Uh, there we go. We did it. All right. Complete the challenge to unlock new gas station features. We have unlocked the car wash. Oh, I do love myself a car wash. I do love myself a car wash. No doubt about it. Um, let's see how much money it's going to cost for the new level. Let us see. Let's go in here. Upgrades. Uh, what is the no, new level going to cost? 300 Wow, they're so cheap. That is awesome. Boom. <laughs> we got a new level. Look at us go. We are just rocking and rolling here, man. This is great. Hydration alert. I agree. Definitely. Got to get some hydration. So let's do it. Ah. Uh, okay. How much is it going to cost to get the car wash? Because I... Oh, 500. It's definitely worth the 500. Boom. I want my car wash. Because the car wash is awesome. Car wash is like free money. It's like printing money. So there we go. And the volcano is happy again. I'm happy that the volcano is happy. So that is wonderful. That's going to get us a lot of money in a hurry. Okay, I do need to get some gas. So let's do that. So we're going to go here to delivery and fuel supply and all the gas. There we go. So I'm down to $112. I've got a little bit of gas left. Just a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. So let's do this and get you filled up. And I do not have enough to fill anybody else up. So we're going to have to wait until the, uh, the fuel boat gets here. Because if I try to fill anyone else up, we're going to run into problems. So we're just going to hold off before we do anything else. You're going to need more tires than I have. This is not good. So, oh well. I've actually got to grab a tire. <laughs> there we go. Because um, you probably need three tires, and I do not have three tires. So we'll get all the tires that we can, and then we will um, order more once we have a little more cash. So, yeah, because you probably need another tire on the other side, because we know it's always the front right tire. <laughs> that one's always bad. 
And I don't think I have any in the warehouse. I'm pretty sure I don't have any in the warehouse. So, yeah, it does take a, a little bit of, of walking around on the pier to try and figure out where you are. Um, customer died. Cause of death, uh, scuba. Um, I feel like that's the first time I've saw seen that, but maybe I've seen it other times and I've just never paid attention. Um, so maybe we've had others that have died and I just haven't noticed. I hope not. But here we go, the car wash. Working at the car wash. Car wash, yeah. Um, and where is it? Do we have... How do we get the other... Um, let's see. Right mouse button to rotate the cap. Is it just the two caps? Is that all we got? Maybe that's it. And how much money are we going to get for a car wash here? Hopefully it's going to be just as much as we got back at the Dust Bowl. And how do cars get so dirty out here? Um, it really makes me wonder. So many questions, so few answers. All right. But we'll keep going, and hopefully you're going to give me $150 because that would make me very, very happy. So let's see. Uh, it is a little slower getting these cars clean, but I will take it because it costs me nothing <laughs> to do it. All right. Uh, continuing to make our way around. I feel like there should be a quicker cap than this. No, that's just rotating it. Oh, mouse scroll up to change it. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. Uh, and I didn't see how much money I got. Was it 150? I'm assuming it was. Uh, I'm going to go with that. So let's see. Uh, how about we get one round for the chat on me? <laughs> J Dub's buying, so go for it. Everyone buy J Dub's, or everyone get one. J Dub's buying. All right, we got to get some fuel. Let's run over here, get some gas. Yeah, now we're doing pretty good. Now it feels like the gas station is starting to get to the point where it's self-sustaining. Um, it's getting a little closer, um, and that's a good feeling that we're getting a little bit closer there. All right, so we got to get this boat filled up. Uh, we're going to run this way to get this boat filled up and run down here, get you all squared away. And you are good. Oh, yeah, and i got to get more parts ordered. That's right. I don't have any parts, but now I've got all the money. So let's get a whole bunch of parts ordered. So let's do that from here because it's the closest one. Delivery parts. Uh, let's see. I need tires. I need a bunch of tires. So let's get eight tires again. I'm doing okay there. I'll get one more and I'll get a couple more. There we go. And how's that going to do on my money? 387. Perfect. That's good. Uh, car wash. Okay. All the car washing. I'll be interested to see what I need to do um, when I run out of water pressure. Because I do look like I am running out of water pressure. So I'll be interested to see what that's all about. We will find out momentarily. Let's rotate that. And let's go this way. Yeah, I definitely like this one better. Um, it's uh, It feels like it does a more complete job. Or at least gets more at one time. So, and it reminds me so much of Power Wash Simulator, which always gives me all the feels. Because <laughs> I definitely loved myself some Power Wash Simulator. That was a lot of fun. That was about as zen as you could get that game. All right. Constantly going around the car. And almost back to the back. 150. Cool. Awesome. I love that. That's great. That is good news. All the good news there. All right. We got a customer at the boat fueling. And we're making about, uh, we're doing pretty good. And once again, the, the, <laughs> the volcano got mad a lot quicker. I, last time I looked up there, it was at like 22. And now it's back at 33. So I don't know what's ma what makes it so mad. But for some reason, it isn't happy with me. All right. Take a quick breath. Let's see what we got. We got to get some more equipment for the scuba rental. Uh, do I have some in stock? Let's see. Uh, products. I do have some scuba equipment, and I have some surfing equipment. So let's order some more scuba equipment anyway. So delivery, products, scuba diving. Um, let's get uh, five more of those and get those ordered. Uh, oh, can't do it. There's another delivery on the way. 
So that's fine. So let's run over there and let's get the scuba stuff. And at some point, I know I can get another worker. I'm going to have to get another worker here pretty quick. Uh, don't get stuck, whatever you do. And don't run into a pole. Um, because, yeah, I've got to get some more... I got to get some more people here so I can do less running. All right, let's get that added. You're good. Um, now we got to run to the warehouse and get that taken care of. So we're going to run here. And then I'll come back to the car wash. But I, I don't even remember what I got at the warehouse. Oh, that was all the parts. That's right, for the person at the garage. All right, we got people everywhere. <laughs> got people to the left, people to the right. Um, everyone's waiting, uh, but we'll get them taken care of one at a time. Up we go. Over to the boat. Get the boat taken care of. We'll get the person at the pump taken care of. Go to the garage, get them taken care of. Just easy peasy. And we'll, then we'll also look into getting another employee, I think. Uh, that'll do. I agree. Okay. So let's run to the fuel pump. Get the fuel pump done. Yeah, Power Wash Simulator is definitely all the zen. All the zen, for sure. Susie Lou, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. I haven't said hi to you yet. Glad you're here. So, uh, all right, you're good. We're going to run over to the car wash, make a quick $150. Working at the car wash. Car wash, yeah. Get you in there and get you all cleaned up because we love free money. And again, I'll be interested to see what happens when we run out of water pressure. So no, no spoilers. We'll, we'll, we'll learn together, and I'm sure it'll be funny. So Because I notice that we are getting a little bit lower. So we're down into the yellow, almost into the red. I don't know if we'll be able to do it and get this guy's car clean. We'll find out. So it'll, it'll be close. Um, we'll see what we got here. All right. Are you just about clean? Uh, you owe me $150, same as if we were back on the mainland. So the price of the car wash does not change. And it is a ripoff no matter what. Uh, all right, now we got your stuff. Sorry I've made you wait for three years, uh, but we're going to get you all placed up. So let's get you taken care of. Oh, I got to get these uh, garbage bags out of here. Okay. This tire. Yeah, this guy's been waiting here since about day four. I'm pretty sure uh, he's been waiting a long, long time. Okay, there we go. Got that. And uh, do we? Uh, what else did you have? Just a door. Okay, so let's get your door taken care of. Let's put those in. And let's get your door taken care of. Was it this door? No, it was the other door. Okay, all the scratches right over there. And is there another scratch? Oh, it's over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so appreciative that you waited all that long for me to get you taken care of because you were waiting a long, long time. Okay, let's get you gassed up. Uh, we got plenty of gas still. We're over $1,000. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, um, let's see if we can get another employee because we really need another one of them. So employees, houses, little pink houses for you and me. Yes, we can. All right. Let's get some more people here on the day shift. Uh, let's go get the go get the pressure back up. Don't wait for your water to pressure to go into the red. The trouble is right now I don't know where I need to go. Again, no spoilers, Trace. I've got to figure out where I got to go because this is the first time I've had it open. So we'll we'll see what happens in a bit. Uh, but again, no spoilers because I have got to find out exactly where I got to go. So we got Juan and we got Nina. Juan has a few more threes than Nina. He's got three threes. She's got two. So we're going to hire him. So there we go. Juan, you are hired. You're in. And now what are we going to have Juan do? We're in the day shift. So we're going to have Juan. I'm going to have him take care of the garage. So oh, I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to go back here. So we're going to have Juan. You are going to take care. You're going to work the day shift. You're going to get you paid automatically. You are going to work the garage. And you are going to fuel the boats. Because those are two things that are kind of far out in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to have you do both of those things. That is good. 
And then I'm sure we have to do one more upgrade to get one more employee. And that'll be even better because four employees is, are better than three. So <laughs> we're just slowly working our way up. Okay. And I've definitely got to get a lot more products um, for the... Uh, uh, for I've got to get more shelves. I got to get more products. All right, let's see what's going to happen because uh, we're going to run out of pressure, and then we're going to find out what we have to do. Because at this point, I don't know what we have to do, so we'll we'll find it out, and we'll see exactly what it is. I'm guessing it's not going to be feeding an alligator, but let's see what we got to do once we run out of pressure, because this is our first time getting to this point. So something's going to happen. And it's going to be funny, I know. So well, we shall see. Um, what will it be? Am I going to actually get all, get all the way around this car? Is it going to let me? I would be very surprised. Oh, wow, we actually did. Okay, I'll have to do it on the next car. So we'll see. It will eventually get there that I will run out. Then we'll find out exactly what they're going to make us do. Because at this point, I still don't know. Um, I should clean up some of this stuff. Um, all right. That one was stuck in the ground. So we'll, we'll get that one out. Okay. And how are we doing now? Uh, how am I doing on fuel? Oh, we got to get this person here. So, yeah, he's going to go take care of the boats, which is what I want. So he's got the boats. He's got the garage. So that gives me a little bit less I got to do. So now I can actually get some more product in here. So I have like no product in here. So delivery, products, I need all the soft drinks. So I've got to be careful because I don't have that much room still. I need all the snacks. So let's get that. I'm going to not get too much. Oh, I can get probably that. I'm going to get some more scuba equipment. So let's get five of those. Let's get some surfing equipment. Let's get five of those. There we go. I think we're good. I think that's everything. That will work. Um, do I have enough room? I have just enough room. Perfect. That's good. So that'll all be showing up. Uh, Juan's got the one at the garage, so we're good there. I probably have to pick that up and throw it. Um, there we go. So that's out of there. Oh, you're stuck in the door. Uh, you're still stuck in the door. Um, can I throw you out through the door? Let's pick you up. <laughs> There we go. Uh, sometimes they get stuck in the door. All right, so the delivery person is on his way. Uh, let's see. I took, once took an eight-hour drive in a car that didn't pick up the radio. I had a John Cougar Mellencamp Greatest Hits CD that I listened to about seven times. That's a lot of times of listening to John Cougar Mellencamp. Um, I find authority. Authority always wins. Um <laughs> All right, here we go. Once again to the car wash. And yeah, we're going to see what we get. I know we're going to run out this time. So let's find out what we're going to do once we run out of water pressure. Uh, is it going to be feeding an alligator? I don't think so, but we're going to find out. So let's see. This is like the longest fuel pump or the longest water pump <laughs> that I can imagine here in terms of pressure. Uh, sir, you're in my way. It makes it harder for me to take care of your car. So, yeah, we still have not run out of pressure. We're, like, almost there. Just about... Again? Okay. All right. We'll do one more car, then. Another one. Another one. Okay. $1,300. Wow, we're doing pretty good on money. So, let's take a look at our challenge. Three boats fueled, seven cars fueled, seven customers served, 18 scuba, 18 surfing. Uh, three toilets, three cars repaired, five cars washed. So once again, are they um, are they taking care of... Yeah, I do need to upgrade the warehouse, that's for sure, to give me more space. So yeah, I definitely should do that because I do have the money. So let's go into here. Let's take a look at our upgrades. And let's go way back. So yeah, because this should be cheap as well. Warehouse 2, $250. There we go. The warehouse is bigger. That's good. So, and the volcano is once again happy. We love a happy volcano. I'm all about a happy volcano. So there we go. So now we got more space. Uh, yikes. 
uh, hello, right in my face with you. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't scary at all. Uh, uh, help me. Um, I think I had a small heart attack there. So, all right, let's get all this on the boat. Um, I got attacked by an Emily that was right all up in my grill. She was definitely invading my personal bubble, and I don't know how I feel about that. I feel bad. Ooh, I've got a nicer desk. That desk wasn't that nice before. Um, all right, delivery, fuel supply, all of it. Can we get all of it? Yeah, we can. Uh, all the fuel. Let's do it. There we go. All the gas is ordered. So what else? All right, so the fuel status is low. One at the car wash. All right, we're going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to run out of water pressure. <laughs> so help me. And I do want to see, again, I got to see, because if this is not counting, so I feel like this might be another bug where if where this may not count the boats being fueled. So, or is it, or, no, it's, it's counting it as a car. That makes no sense. That counted as a, as a car because that just went up to nine. So that's okay. Well, if you're going to get credit for fueling the cars, I'm going to have you fuel the cars then, darn it. So, yeah, that that is okay. That's an interesting glitch. So, all right, back to the employee. You're going to fuel the cars because you're getting credit for fueling the cars. So you're going to actually fuel the cars then. So there we go. Uh, no equipment at the scuba rental. So I think I actually do have scuba equipment. So we will take care of that. So what was I going to do? I was going to do the car wash. That was the one last thing I wanted to do here. So let's do this at the car wash. Let's see what's going on. And then we'll leave this place in a little bit of a mess. Because that's the rusty champagne way. Uh, leaving it a little bit messy. There we go. We're out of pressure. Uh, so what happens now? Uh, what do we have to do? So are you going to tell us what we have to do? You're not going to tell us what we have to do, are you? Uh, what do we have to do? Um, huh. That's interesting. Uh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. I'm assuming we go here. Okay. So what do we do with this? Do we just throw this into the dumpster? Do we just take it out of here? I guess maybe we just take it out of here and that works. I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Is that helping our pressure? It is. Okay. So I guess we just, oh. Um, you can't refuel the car because there's no fuel at the station. That is a trouble. Okay, so I guess we don't have the alligator anymore, but we do have the dumpster here. Okay, so that answers that question. That's not nearly as fun as feeding the alligator, but I guess we'll do what we got to do. Um, and we're almost back to full on that. So where's there more, uh, more trash? There we go. So I was hoping that was going to be a little more fun, but whoa, well, it's all right. So, and that's almost close. Uh, there should be more uh, trash in here, but I'm not finding it. So we're not going to worry about that. Let's get out of the muck. Um, I do need to go to the fuel delivery because right now we're not giving anybody any gas. And that's trouble if you operate a gas station. So let's go here. Let's get this guy emptied out. And get that taken care of. Thank you very much for giving me all the gas. We got plenty of gas now. And we are going to go over here, fuel this boat. And I think that's going to probably take care of things. So let's go over here. Let's fuel this boat. And there you go. And we'll also, no, we don't have to take care of the car because uh, our other buddy is taking care of the car. There we go. And we'll also, we'll finish washing this car. So, because we, we at least, we started the job, we should at least finish it. So we'll, we'll finish washing this car. We now know what we need to do to take care of getting the fuel pressure back. Unfortunately, it's not feeding an alligator. Um, we do have to jump into a giant sludge pit. And that's, I guess, bad enough. But uh, I do miss feeding the alligator. That's scary. I'm like going right through you. Um, I didn't want to see your teeth from the inside, <laughs> but we did. Oh, well, I think we had a pretty impressive first day here. Is there a place that we can run to? 
I guess we can run out here to the tidal wave sign. We don't have like the big dust bowl thing that we can do, but we can run out here to the tidal wave sign and this will work. So I think we had a pretty good first day here, I would say. We had a lot of fun. I know I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. It felt like we had 100 people here on a pretty regular basis, and that's awesome. So, again, I hope you guys really had a fun time with this. Uh, if you enjoyed this, the game is on Steam right now. I think it's about $11. So, and it, I think the regular price on it is going to be like 15 So, it, it's, it's pretty cheap. You do have to have the original gas station simulator in order to do it. But, I, like I said... It was a really good time. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, but that is going to be it for this one. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're catching this later and if you enjoyed this video, I definitely appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really enjoyed this video and you're not yet a subscriber, I would appreciate it even much if you would consider giving the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again, which will be tomorrow for Real Estate Simulator, thank you guys so much for being a part of all of this silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.